Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? Uh, got the water, check, tea, check, little snacky, check. Self, check. Uh, yes, this, yes. Okay, cool. Coolio. Got all the things. Hi, guys. What's up? Thunder! Thank you so- Oh! <laughs> thank you so much for the lovely 17 months! I appreciate it! Malenti, hello! Chaos, thanks for the 100 bitty bits! Oh, this is from Free Bits. I just got today! Poggies! Nice! Hope y'all are well. I've been having a bad mental day. Just way too many stuff at once. I hope you're able to take some time to just do what you gotta do, you know? To settle the brain, reset the mental, relax, and free your mind, you know? Free bits. Hello, queen. Hello, hello. Hi, Lutus. Hi, Sash. Hi, Metra. Hello, Fallow. Hello, TM Zoids. Hi, Wilton. Hi, Bantam. And Ando. And Zenian. And Otsuki. And Eno. <laughs> I had a feeling. Ooh. Uh, yes, we are back today. Um, hello, Jose, and Yerfui, and Tuna, and Looney Tay. Hi, Tears. Hi, Sticky Notes. Hi, hi. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Brandon. Hi, guys. How's everyone doing today? 69 viewers. Nice. Nice. Nice! So, uh, apparently, as far as the Minecraft goes, we have added some, uh, some... How do you call these? Um, what are they called? Advancement packs or something? Mod packs, sort of? Achievements, I guess? Uh, but we added achievements to the server, and apparently when I log in, it's gonna be a crazy amount of spam, so I'm a little afraid. But how's everyone doing today? <laughs> Blocks, JK. <laughs> How are you guys doing? The advancements? Yeah, but it's like through a mod pack of sorts, isn't it? Everyone calls them achievements. Yeah, whatever works, I guess. Hey, Bantam, thanks for the four months. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to the Looniverse, my friend. It's good to have you here. Thank you, thank you. It's gonna go bonkers. I'm scared. Uh, over nine billion achievements ready, I'm afraid. Be prepared to save items when your inventory is full. Items? The heck? Okay. Just slightly. Oh, uh, this happens every time. All right, let's check it out. I'm nervous. The achievements can give items. I did thunder! All the Eeveelution skateboards are, they're sick. They look amazing. They look absolutely awesome. Hello, Emma. Hi, hi. You're gonna have a bunch of stuff at your feet. Oh man, all right, here we go. Let's check it out. I'm curious. I, I, I guess... I guess I'm okay? I got fireworks? I don't know what all these are. I got 38. I don't know how I feel about this text color thing. I'm gonna have to get used to it, but that's something new. Something to get used to. Um. Mm hmm. What the hell is this? 150. Oh my god. What the heck? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. What'd I get? Mm. 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 I only have 38. What am I doing? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. Cause like to me, it doesn't look like you guys are talking. It doesn't look like people are chatting in chat. It looks like an announcement or something. Mmm. 
Obtain boots enchanted with feather falling. Nice. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I want to color names, not words, but Jam was looking into it. Oh, okay, no worries. Oh, gotcha. Um. Yeah, I guess I don't have that very many. Valo's out here with the 279. Huge. Um, so, as far as my Patreon goes, um, my Patreon specifically helps to support my music. Um, I was actually thinking of a few extra things that I could post on there. I mostly post updates. Um, it depends on, like, the, the tier you get and stuff, but... What is this? Survive the first night in your brand new world? Nice. <laughs> cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, it helps to support fully my music, so... Yeah, I'll post updates on what songs are coming out next. Sometimes I'll have, um... Sometimes I'll have polls for which song to do next if we're not sure, and we kind of need, like, some ideas of what to do. Um, sometimes it'll be, like, pictures, not very often. Sometimes, like, I kind of want to work on changing some things on the Patreon side of things, so that's a work in progress, but I would like to, uh, I kind of got an idea from Yaji today, um, because he made a comment on the post that we made today, or, like, an update post that I made today, and it was talking about, like, behind the scenes of this potential upcoming song, and I was like, oh, that's a really good idea, I can try to do that, like, occasionally have, like, behind the scenes videos or something, I think that'd be really cool, so... Yeah. Pretty much all achievements got reset due to this, so me being in every biome did reset and doesn't count. What? Are you serious? Dude, that freaking sucks. What the hell? Why does it do that? I hope no one, like, was seriously, like, heavily working on getting achievements and stuff. That really sucks. Um, but yeah. The Patreon also, like, if you're the highest tier patron, then you can get uh, your name on the top of the video or whatever, or in the intro of the video as a thank you. Uh, there's MP3 file downloads for the the cover and stuff like that. But I didn't break a pick. I didn't break the pick. What the heck music did that? You broke two more picks? Oh no! Oh my- oh! I- uh, na, 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 na. Gotcha! Diggy diggy hole! <laughs> I was like, why does it sound familiar? But I'm not like, pinning it in my brain of what this is. That's so funny. Um... That's really cute. What the heck? Bruh. Where'd this guy come from? <laughs> All right. Uh, kill a husk. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Where did this guy come from? He just, did he just fall from the sky? I, maybe it's possible? Oh, look at the arrows. The arrows, such a good idea. Aha. Cute. Uh, why didn't you just make an alt account on Twitch and stream music here? You are known already here. Uh, because I don't want to stream music on Twitch. I just enjoy- like, on Twitch I like to play video games. I don't really do a whole lot of music on Twitch, unfortunately. I used to do music on Twitch, but then I just... I wasn't looking forward to doing it, and I felt that I was losing my motivation of wanting to do music when I had to feel like I had to do it on stream, if that makes sense. So I prefer to separate the two. Uh, what is the achievement mod? I don't know, JM. What's the name of the achievement mod? I'm not sure what to do with all this. So many people just watch this guy play Guitar Hero for hours? Well, that's- that's Twitch for you. Blaze and Caves Pack. Okay, interesting. Wait, this isn't even- I shouldn't be taking these shelter boxes, I should be using my own. Yeah, that's why Patreon is more important. Yeah, like, Patreon is specifically for just music and stuff like that, whereas... This is kind of like... Um... More of like a little bit of everything that I can enjoy and do without feeling pressured, you know? 
Uh, do you do custom work like them songs and whatnot? Um, what do you mean by like them songs? <laughs> Uh, I mostly don't like I don't really have as much time to do more custom work. Oh theme songs um, Yeah, I don't really have as much time to do like custom work. I just do Specifically like music monthly ish for like patreon and things like that um, We try to do at least like a song a, a month as a, You know as much as we can without forcing the songs we want to make sure that we take the time to make the songs what we want them to be instead of like rushing a deadline, especially if it's gonna sacrifice the quality of what we enjoy or what we want it to sound like, so. Uh, stars! Thank you for the tier 332 months, dude. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. I guess I. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have to actually repair this one. Cool. All right, so how do I check my followage or follow age? If you click on your name in chat, it says following since January 6th, 2021. And that works in any stream, so yeah. I asked myself what the appeal was and then found myself in there for three hours. <laughs> oh, sometimes that's how it goes, you know? That's how it goes. I'm the meme in my chat, I'm sorry. It's hard for me to remember absolutely everybody that comes into the stream, but hello. Oh, you're on an Xbox, so you can't see that? Well, there you have it. it says, following since January 6th, 2021. Hi, Sadies. I get what you mean. Force work is never as good as the stuff made by Pat. Yeah, exactly. Yo, all right. So last stream, we were working on a lot of digging and stuff like that, of course, but check this out. I, I was like, okay guys, how do we feel about making the flower designs that we have in like this area over here? And look at what Ando came up with. Oh my God, it looks so good. How on earth have you done this? I don't even know. It looks amazing though. I tend to get enthralled by music though, so it is what it is. That'll happen. Hello, Golden Ninja for the third time. Hi. Uh, look at the sign below. Is there a sign over here? Let's see. Oh, here? Uh, this is mine now. What did I just get? An abandoned mine shaft. Nice. Uh, will it- so it will match the wallpaper that was made, right? Isn't that so cute? This is about eight to nine stacks of orange terracotta. I ran out again. <gasps> oh my god. We're gonna need a lot of it, aren't we? Dang. So, how many flowers do you figure we're gonna need? Hi potato, hi keep, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well today, Sadie. Good to see ya. I hope I didn't miss any resubs here, just a second. Um, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Three in height, lengthwise, I don't know. Nine stacks, I don't, yeah, dude, that's that's intense. Um, I saw some people were concerned about like the, um, how it was like protruding, I guess, from the wall. I'm not sure how else to say that, but we could just, we could find a way to spawn proof it, right? It is a- it's a private sub-server, yeah. It is it is. It looks really good, though. Oh, look at the arrows in the wall, too! Wow. This looks awesome, you guys. Mm-hmm. What am I do? I keep getting at random achievements. Underground cave, nice, nice. Hello, the dong! It's good to see you. Hi, pajama. Dang. I mean, I think it looks really great. Um, I think Anna was saying something about building into the wall or whatever. I'm not sure how much we would have to worry about it, but I think it looks really good. Was it really hard to work on, Ando? Okay, wings are good. 
Uh, what would be the one person that you would like to meet that is a celebrity? Saw a video on TikTok that someone was watching the football game with Mr. Mosby. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't really, like, have, like, a specific celebrity that I, like, necessarily look up to. Like, when it comes to celebrities, I'm pretty, like, neutral on a lot of them. I'm like, oh, nice, cool. Um... But I don't know. I don't really have one that I'm like, oh my god, I have to meet them. I don't know. I just don't really... Sup, Lenti? What's up? Here, let me actually bust out the cam account real quick. Before we start digging. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a... Go-to celebrity, honestly. Hi, Hussein. I want to meet Lunity IRL. I don't count as a celebrity. <laughs> but I appreciate that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't have- I don't have a celebrity crush. No, I don't. Uh, am I recording on main, main account too? I have been. I've been doing recordings on both accounts just in case. Except for that one day where I would have wish I did because to see the dongs fall in the replay, that would have been amazing. Alright, Looney Cam has even less, uh... Even less, what's it called? Uh, okay, I wanted to. Oh, yeah, let's move this. Where should we work on today? Maybe we can get some of this down, work on this a little bit or something, or should I work on this area? Hmm. I think Keanu would be super chill to hang with. He seems perfectly introverted. True. I feel like that, like, you could name me any celebrity and I'd be like, yeah, that'd be cool, I guess. I just don't really, like, particularly... I don't, I don't know. Nobody particularly stands out to me as someone that I'm like, I have to meet them. Gerard Way? I mean, I guess. I don't know. Uh, oh, nice good vibes. Thank you. What is my most viewed YouTube video? Uh, good question. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, Jason, thank you for the lovely 52 months. Dude, you're insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, do we need nighttime at all? Ah. <laughs> Hang on, let me sleep. I, I don't want to... Eh. Uh, we started digging this on, was it January 10th or something? Something like, something like that, I want to say. So that's where we're at. Um, what was I going to do just now? Oh my goodness, I'm losing it already. I was going to do something and I forgot. <laughs> so what was, oh yeah, I was going to check to see what my most viewed YouTube video was. Um... Let's find out. Let's find out for fun. Lunity. Um, probably one of my League of Legends parodies. Let's see. Sort by most popular. It's Call Me Maybe with 2.7 million. And then it's Really Don't Care. Dang, dude. Oh my god, that was nine years ago. Call Me Maybe parody. Nine years. Uh... Oh, yes, I do know Fletcher. Yeah. No, I, I have heard of Against the Current. I just don't listen to them. But yeah, TJ and I covered Phoenix. 2.8 mil is the celebrity cutoff? Oh, shucks, hey? That, that's, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> but to be fair, I haven't really listened to a whole lot of, like, bands or music in general, unfortunately. Yeah, look at this. Baby Looney. I was looking through, oh my goodness, guys, yesterday. I took some time to go through my old Instagram posts and I I went and archived so many of them and I could not help the amount of cringe that I was experiencing just reading through some of my captions. I was like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Posts from like 10 years ago. I was like, good lord. That hair, though, on that video, 
honestly not much different from the hair that I have this to this day. <laughs> honestly. Ooh. Now you know how we feel? What do you mean? Wait, <laughs> with what? Oh, there's a geode here. Ooh. All right, let's see. So Ludus is in this area as well. Um, I know, baby Looney, dude. I loved use your CC back in the day. Oh, good times. Good times. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to not break this pick. I still have a little bit of life left in it. Should we be like harvesting this geode or something? I don't know what to do with this. Thank you, Chaos, for the hydration reminder. Uh, I read that people around $550, wait. I heard people get around $550 for 1 million views on YouTube. Was it like that for you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not because I actually have no idea how much generally people make on YouTube because I do music and all of my videos get claimed with like copyright, um, copyright stuff like immediately or like copyright claimed, which means that all of the views that I get on my videos goes to like the original artists. So I have no idea what YouTube, real YouTube money is like. <laughs> I genuinely do not know. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately. Hello, jokes. Oh, close one. Whew. Uh, I have two geodes in my mind. Okay, so we don't really, we don't really care about it then, I guess. Oh. Hello, Corthus. Mine all the things? Yeah, you know? Keep it until the end? Keep what until the end? How many things are we keeping until the end? <laughs> so we get heaps of crystals? Uh, but shouldn't we be harvesting them on the way so that they can grow more? Would be my guess. This thing is massive. This thing is absolutely insane. The thing I'm talking about? Have it, ha harvest the crystals. Harvest <laughs> everything. Yeah, I wish I made real YouTube monies. <laughs> I wish my music didn't get insta copyright claimed. But alas, that's just the life of doing music on YouTube. Which is why Patreon is so incredibly important. Because otherwise I literally just make like a hundred dollars every month. That's literally it. I quite literally. And and sometimes if not, then I get it the next month because it like carries over. <laughs> or I don't get paid out until I reach a hundred. So it's kinda sad. Kinda sad. But it is what it is. Worth it to make the musics. <laughs> Just more reason for one, or I know, one of these days, one of these days, guys, we'll get there. Hopefully. Uh, Terabyte, who I am a mod for, licensed the songs to get money from them. Uh, on YouTube, you have to get like a, a video license and a music license like you have to pay for both in order for your video to really get full like you get full ownership of it and like no copyright claims and stuff but it that honestly takes a lot of work and i don't know how many people actually take the time to do that kind of thing uh probably like bigger channels maybe if they have like people helping them out with that or something but uh, hi there! Digging because spawn rates are better, lower you go, or... Kind of, we're digging because the spawn rates will be better if we, like, clear out absolutely everything. And then we'll build the creeper farm in the middle, and so all of the creepers will be, um, they will be concentrated in that one specific area, if that makes sense. So yeah. Thank you, Tristan. 
Do -do -do -do. Still waiting for your payout, yup. <laughs> yup. How many people are working on digging the hole? Oh yeah, we need the we need the guest book for so we can have a, a list of all the people. But it's it's kinda hard for me to say because I'm not sure how many people are working on it during the day and stuff. But there's a decent amount of peeps. Decent amount of peeps. I don't know, how many would you guys figure? How many subs would you guys figure have been or actively slash working on this project? Because I'm not sure. They have not done any work on their music channel for a while now and just play Roblox now. <laughs> it is, I mean, that probably makes more sense for them, I would assume. Happens. And I feel like this is super laggy today. It just doesn't feel smooth. Just you and Sash. <laughs> oh, no, I see Pajama right there. He's working on this. I saw Ludus working on this. We sure are, Jelly. I guess Valo might have a little. I don't know. Eno for sure. Tears as well. Tears has been working in the, the deep slate area. Um. Would I ever play Maple Story? Uh, is there like an active player base for Maple Story still these days? I know Maple Story was like really popular back in the day. It'd be like if I were to start playing RuneScape now, I, I feel like. Yo, Raze! Thank you so much for the five gifted subs, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your gifted subs, friends that got gifted. Welcome on in. Thank you so much, man. A bit overkill for gunpowder? It sure is! We definitely won't need this much, ever. Cause like, one AFK session will be more than enough for us to be able to... ...have gunpowder for the rest of our lives. <laughs> and for our children's lives. And their... ...children's children. But it's a fun project that the whole community can take part in, you know? So, it's it's cool. It's just for fun, really. Oh, I know. Old school runescape. Old school runescape. Fire. Are you challenging me, Looney? To what? <laughs> what am I challenging you to? Oh no. What have I done? Um I know. I played a lot of old school old school RuneScape before I started playing WoW. It was like my my entry into the world of MMOs. <laughs> We do have a Discord server, yes, but a lot of it is sub only, just so, because it's easier to moderate and kind of just keep orderly, <laughs> honestly speaking. Is it, yeah, it's just for creepers. We specifically have, will have like no other mobs in it. I have a couple mountains I intend to blow up entirely. Oh wait. For, for, oh, for the gunpowder. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna have to warn us of when this happens because this the entire server is just gonna break <laughs> and lag out. Uh, Tears, Froggy, and I mine the hole all day, and the others come to help when you log on, so I'd say. Us three have done the most on the whole. Oh, snap. It would be kind of interesting to see the numbers at the end, just for fun. Just out of curiosity, because I would, I, I don't know. I don't want anyone to feel inferior though, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mind, anyone who mind at least one block, you know, gets to record how much. <laughs> well, not how much, but you know. You get to write your name in the guest book. You participated. We'll take it, you know? That that counted for something. <laughs> Hello, Centro. How do you do? Uh, you want to keep all the stone, etc.? Why not blow the hole with TNT with, fly er, with flying machines? Well, TNT flying machines especially would require duping, and I don't really particularly care to do duping. And TNT for these kind of projects are really, really messy. Um, especially like if we were to find like an aquifer or if we were to find any lava or anything like that It's just like makes for a really like 
I don't know. It's just like super smooth to just mine layers, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. And like I said, part of it is like the the project, right? Like I think this is nice to, for people- wait, why did I get diamonds? Okay, well, that's gonna be going in the community chest anyways. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Like, I really like doing this and just chilling. Oh, from Cheeves? Oh. Interesting. Another 100 bits from Mr. Chaos. Last of the bits, I'm going to head off to, ha to bed. Have to get up early in the morning to take care of some stuff. I might need to find some new music to listen to now. It is more upsetting and not good for me. Y'all have a good night. Well, take care, Chaos. Have yourself a good one. Hope you feel better soon, dude. Take care out there, man. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what the hell? Why did I get a stone shovel? I don't want this. Get out of here. Uh. Um. Oh, guys, I might, uh, so I announced today on Patreon, which, should I mine these? I hate mining. Do I need Silk Touch or anything specific to mine this stuff? Oh, whenever I'm looking for music to listen to, I listen to Lunity on Spotify. Well, that's so crazy, Gibson, because anytime I'm looking for something to listen to, I listen to GBSN on Spotify. There's an achievement for having all stone tools in your inventory. Ah. You want fortune for the crystals? Oh, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> Be careful with the instamine though. True. Eh. Eh, we'll work on it later. It's okay. It's okay. Um. Yeah, no, we don't want. Oh, full stomach. Wow. Cool. Nice. Alright, Ludus is over here. Are you doing three at a time, Ludus? Alright. Let's do what he's going with the three at a time. Oh, Velo's working on this here. Let's see. Where am I? I'm here. All right. Stone Age. Oh my god. We'll break those eventually, so may as well do it before we dig lower. Uh, true. Okay. Let me get. We're trying to be. We're trying to live efficiently. Eh. Where's my fortune pick? <laughs> Okay. I will go get the goods. I'm gonna pick them up. And I'll be very careful. Alright. Here we go. I'm trying to be very precise and careful of what I, what I'm clicking. Um, I need Silk Touch for the blocks, but not for the crystals. Oh! Okay. Uh... You can't Silk these? Oh. So, so we're good? We're doing the right thing, chat? Things are okay? Everything's good? <laughs> I don't know what's happening! Yes, you are doing it right- okay. Alright, fantastic. So confused for a second. I was like, oh god. Have I ruined everything? Uh, eh, okay, that doesn't reach. Oh yeah, so chat, I announce- <gasps> I broke one, I'm sorry. Anyways, haha, <laughs> no one saw that. You guys didn't see anything. Uh, I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that. I don't like that. I don't know who put that there, but I don't like that. 
Yeah, so I picked the song for the third time. Um, so I'll let chat know, because I let in, uh, Patreon know. So the song that we chose to do is Kiss Me More by Doja Cat. And I'm really freaking nervous for it. I've still been just like kind of practicing it before I record it because it's so fast. <laughs> it's so incredibly fast because we wanted to make it sound like anime opening theme, you know, and it's fast as hell. It's really fast. You still haven't read it on Patreon? Well, feel free to go check out the post if you'd like. It's there. But yeah, it's, I, I almost want, I want to give you guys a preview of how fast I'm talking. But I'm just have to wait. I'm gonna have to leave that preview maybe exclusive for patrons or something, because shit's thing insane. And I'm, I'm afraid for my life. Uh, I actually thought your anime take on Hold On was hella dope, by the way. Thank you! We did one for Stay as well, if you haven't heard that one. That was really fun. Um, so, TNT doesn't do much unlit. Yeah, but I've seen how this server works with things and how something can just be chill in there and then suddenly it's explode, it explodes explodes somehow. I don't know how it happens, it just does. <laughs> so I don't trust any TNT anywhere. Uh, is there some new anime you like worth watching? I'm currently watching JoJo's at the moment. Um, but Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan has been fucking sick, so if you haven't caught up with those, I highly recommend catching up with those, because it's really freaking good. Um, what else? What else? What else? That's kind of... Oops. That's kind of where I'm at. I... <laughs> I mean, that and the, the, the tour of the sub-server. There's just always something that happens. So you never know. <laughs> it's never too... We can never be too safe these days. Um, Y'all seen the Rings of Power announcement trailer? Uh, I'm unfamiliar with what that is, actually. Yeah, I'm always excited for Sundays. Sundays are like the poggy days. It's like the best day to be alive. <laughs> Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm gonna have to rewrite. Um, will this be the gateway song to Rap God? I don't know about that, dude. I don't know about that because it's it's. I I don't know. I don't know, man. But um, I'm gonna need to rewrite some of the lyrics. Just, you know, because, obviously. But... <laughs> I'm gonna have to get creative. And part of me was like, I should ask for chat's input on some of these. <laughs> but I, I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know. Oh, God, I keep breaking things by accident. Alright, I'm just harvesting. Doja Cat is so clean. So clean. The cleanest. The cleanest. But yeah, I mean, like, some songs I don't mind singing, like... Like, when there's, like, explicit content or whatever, but some I just... It's, like, not my style. <laughs> or whatever, you, you know what I mean, chat? So... Aw, oh, shit. I messed up. I did the wrong thing for a bit there. Uh, so yeah. Family friendly content right there, I know. I'm like, afraid of, like, my mom listening to the original. <laughs> uh, I'm like, just, just don't listen to this one, right? Just, 
just listen to whatever we write and that, that's it, okay? You don't need to know anything else. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, you like how you heard from a friend that that dick was a 10 out of 10? <laughs> yeah, you know, oh, hi, hi. Oh, hello. I just, you know. <laughs> okay, maybe I will ask chat just for fun. Just out of, just for fun, okay? Um, chat. Let's let's do some word exercises, all right? Some brainstorming. This is what I was talking about the other day. I just I'm just curious to see what you guys would think or come up with. I'm not saying I'm gonna use whatever it is that you guys say, but are you guys ready? I need some I need some word replacements, okay? I'm gonna pull up the lyrics. All right, kiss me more lyrics. <laughs> okay, so uh. Wait. Okay. Okay, okay. Sorry. So, chat, I need a word replacement. I just want to see how creative you guys are, okay? I need a word replacement for... <laughs> I need a... A word replacement for pussy. <laughs> the context is pussy like holy grail, you know that. What can I use instead of that? <laughs> I'm like holy grail, you know that. The thing is, Pussy has two syllables, I'm only has one. Vagina has three, I'm not saying vagina. God damn it. I need a two syllable. Kitty? But does that even like make sense? Pushy? But that could easily be like, I am. I am like holy grail, you know that. Coochie? <laughs> I don't wanna say, okay. I'm not saying China. <laughs> look he, look he like holy grail though. This is not what I was expecting for tonight. Me neither, but I was like, Booty like holy grail, you know that? I that would be a better Arthur <laughs> Poggers <laughs> Oh god, can you imagine if I just slip in a poggers into this song? Booty could work. I just think it's funny. Like sometimes like just me thinking of me singing some of these lyrics is just like funny to me. Cause like, I have to sing like, all this ass for real, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel that, right? It just, it's awkward for me. Cause this is not my style of stuff that I sing, you know? <laughs> uh, I think lovin' will be replacing fucking, you know, for most of it. I remember you saying that, Gibson, yeah. Uh, I think the ends will be replaced with boy, depending on where it is. Cause I obviously am not singing that. Um, yeah, it depends. Cause some like end in it and I could just like work, make it work. Yeah. <laughs> I loved your mom. Um, hello, top bro. All oh, this is for real, I guess, instead of ass for real. <laughs> I could do that. I could really, like, you know, censor the whole thing and replace it. Because, <clears throat> like, I think there's another place up here where it's, uh, where is it? 
Something about... Oh, yeah. <laughs> this line. I think... I think they replaced some of the ends with, like, they as well. Or I've seen some people do, like, a cleaner version of this song and, like, like kind of get, like, inspiration of, like, what they used or whatever. Uh... Because, like, this one is, like... Like, you know, ends wishing that the pussy was a kiss in booth, and I'm just like, oh my god, this fucking line, this fucking line, <laughs> I can't! Oh my god! But... Can you imagine me singing that, <laughs> guys? I feel like I would be dying. I wouldn't be able to sing this, like, with a straight face. Oh, man. Take care, Drac. I can't either. I can't. So, I will take some of your suggestions and see what fits the best. Booty could definitely work, but if I want to completely steer from, we'd be watching movies in a kissing booth. <laughs> but then I don't want it to get cringe either. Play a two. Bussy. <laughs> it's so fast, that's true. No one would even notice if I changed the entire words or lyrics to the song. As long as I had the same amount of syllables, literally no one would even notice. Unless it was like specific areas. Yumi Ami <laughs> like a kissing booth. <laughs> oh. When you named the song that was the first line I thought of and I was losing it, I know. I know. No worries, Raze. Get yourself some relaxation, dude. Absolutely. I know. I hope I don't break any more picks either. So, yeah. I'm very curious to see, you know, how this goes. I'm gonna have to rewrite and then go off of that or whatever. But yeah, that, that line specifically, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> oh man. So... Pickaxe more, pickaxe more. Do 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 <laughs> Oh man. I'm just gonna do a Minecraft parody after all. Okay. Uh what am I doing? Right. I'm putting all these shards away. This this is this this. What is in my inventory? I don't even know. All right, so let's put you away. Yeah. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> what am I gonna do with the N word? I'm probably gonna do either boy or like they or like um, playa or whatever fits the syllables in that specific area. <clears throat> Just make your own song purely about Minecraft? I- I can't. I- I've done that in the past. I've had my fair share. I'm good. I'm over it. <laughs> Farmer? Nice. When you asked about songs that are hot right now, I thought about this song, but I was like, nah, she ain't singing that. So the reason we chose this one was because for the longest time, like, we were gonna do like, we were considering, or we were looking at the charts, and we were like, okay, what if we, like, we actually saw, like, an Ed Sheeran song that we were like, okay, there's, this song sucks, but we could, like, make it, oh, oh, hi, hi there. <laughs> we could make it more interesting, like, we could improve the listening experience, and I don't even remember what the name of the song was. Fella? <laughs> Farmer? <laughs> Yeah, like, Fella could work too. Something, like, it, it could be... There, there's a lot of alternatives. Sing the Fortnite song? Oh, there's... No. <laughs> oh, God. I have had that song out of my head for months, and I forgot it existed. God damn it, Sadie. Um... So, yeah. That... So yeah, Tony was like playing around with working on some instrumentals for a while and nothing was like working out like he had liked and he was he was just like, man, like none of these are sounding good or like he just wasn't digging it, you know? Um, 
And then he found this song, um, or he had like been scouring the internet, the YouTubes, whatever, and then found this song and was like, uh, had a lot of fun making the instrumental for it. So it was, I was like, I don't know at first, but then, you know, it was between this song and another song that actually had very similar, a very similar like chord progression and they were like in the same key and everything is kind of weird. But um, I forgot the name of the other one, but they literally are in the same key, same chords, same vibe. But this one I think was more popular. So we were like, ah, uh. and it, it had like a, it has like a certain charm to it. Like despite the, explicit lyrics like the song is pretty cute it's really fun um i wish you guys could hear the instrumental that tony came up with already though because like it's so it's sick it's sick oh the chug chugs <laughs> oh that's the one yeah you know gotta take chances and i also wanted to like I wanted the first song of the year to be a pretty good one. And I would just like, I was like, oh man, I don't know about this Ed Sheeran one. I don't feel like that's a good start to the year personally. Just cause like the song was so whatevs. And I kept having freaking people come to my chat memeing about freaking Ed Sheeran. So I was like, okay, let's just not do this fucking song. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah. So. <laughs> We're gonna take the chance on it and see how it goes. I feel like you guys will like it. I like it. I think it would be really fun. So we'll see. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I, I don't know. I still I, I don't know. I just I like had heard it every single day for some reason I was just like why why? So I'm just like I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this But I think this is a better choice <clears throat> Can you dig me more? Uh, I don't like these minecraft <laughs> Keep me away from the Minecraft parodies. I've already done some. I don't want to do more. <laughs> I can't. Do people still do like video game parodies like that? I'm sure people do. There has to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So I'm probably gonna have to record it sometime this week though. I'm just not sure when. I took yesterday off. Part of me was like, I took today off. This would be a really great time to record. But then I was like, but I'm kind of tired and I don't feel, I feel like actually just having a day off and chilling a little bit while working on like some side, like small things I've been needing to work on. <laughs> That's what I did instead. But we'll have to do a recording session this week uh are you in safe mode playing minecraft i don't know what that means i don't know what safe mode playing minecraft means like peaceful uh this is on hard difficulty so no Nerdcore has become like a crazy big though. People do like cringe, cringe ass, cringe. I can't read cringe ass Minecraft parodies for the sake of it being just that. But IDK, how many serious ones there are? But yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if like that ship has sailed or like because it was like pretty like meta to do for a certain bit of time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I know there was a group called Nerd Out that was working. Is that the one? Nerdcore. Oh, is that something different? I know Nerd Out was doing the parodies for a while. I'm not sure if they still do or not. I haven't really kept up with that. <clears throat> no more manga anime until you record. Uh, <laughs> no. 
not like this. Oh crap, what am I? Oh, never mind. Not like this. Anything but the manga or anime. No. Think they die with Captain Sparkles? Wait, what happened to Captain Sparkles? He's still around. He's in like every single Minecraft Twitch Rivals, I swear. Or I don't know, he's still doing stuff. Uh, more so original nerdy songs, I believe. Makes sense, makes sense. Even though harder to do, but I can see that. That's cool though. I know they were doing like, I think it was, gosh, when was the Among Us era? Was that two years ago? Yeah, when was the Among Us era, guys? Oh, my pick is getting low. My pick is getting low. To keep an eye, okay. Oh, was he doing parodies too? Interesting. Sometimes it is hard to just to take a break. Yeah, you know? I feel like when I have my days off, I'm constantly still thinking of having to work. I'm like, no, I'm trying to actually take a day off and chill and just reset or just relax a bit, you know? Be like that sometimes. Oh, I don't know why I'm picking these up. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Oh God, why am I doing it? I don't know why I'm doing it. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you used to work with them? Wait, really? I didn't know that. I feel like I had gotten, I was contacted by one of them at one point, but then I don't remember what happened. I don't remember what we did, or if we, I don't think anything happened of it. No clue. I did a song with them that was the first one to go viral. Oh, really? It was the first one to go viral, then the guy flipped out on me for asking for literally the smallest cut of the rev? Wait, what? The heck? Dude, that... The heck? That's kind of messed up, bro. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. It is what it is, dude. Did they at least, like, pay you to be on the track a little? At least? You don't have to answer that. <laughs> Cause like, god damn. I feel like that's always my, like, I'm always afraid to collab with people because I don't know what they expect when it comes to the money thing. And then I feel like sometimes people just get like really weird and like they don't communicate it or they just like completely dodge the question for some reason. And then they get just really like weird. So like, I'm always afraid of like collabing with people just because like, I don't know how to, like what their expectations are sometimes. One million f four to five. What? Not a single. Bruh. They even just like give you like a, a a like upfront like hey we'll pay you like this much for your time <laughs> to have you featured on this thing or whatever. <clears throat> Dude, I'm heated. I'm heated, Gibson. What the fuck? I'm so mad. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. Actually, messed up. That ain't cool at all. Oh, never do that, people. Never not pay your homies. Ah. Oh. I feel like the only time I'd be okay with that, which has happened to me, is like if it's like with a friend and we're just like doing something for fun or doing something cool you know but if it's like for someone that hits me up and they're like hey i would like to have you on this track and then it's just like nothing like oof, owie. if it's commission work i wouldn't expect to give a cut to someone i hired at tbh uh i mean yeah but he didn't even get paid to just like be featured on the track you know what i mean like, that's pain. It was all about that bass parody, but all the lyrics were Pokemon names. Like, I'm singing in Japanese. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> Dang, what the hell? I know, that that is sus. 
And I don't like, yeah, but I gave you exposure. That, that's just like, oh, uh, I can't with that. As for a couple hundred, bruh. Uh, I don't know. I feel like if someone was like, like told me, like if Gibson was like, hey, like, just wondering, like, would it be cool if I got a cut of this? I'd be like, well, yeah, obviously. Like, you worked on this. Like, sure thing, of course. No, no, of course not. No hate on them, of course. It's just sometimes, maybe it's a learning experience, or maybe they didn't realize at the time or something. I don't know. <laughs> I did art collab for fun. Yeah, you know, like, if I, that's why, like, for me, like, I don't expect payment from, like, friends if it's, like, you know, whatever. Like, I'm cool with just, like, chilling. I'm, like, vibing on a track or whatever. But then when a track does really well and you don't get paid, it's, like, kind of like, oh, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just an unfortunate experience, I guess. It'll happen. I think that's like the thing with also content creation is like no one really knows like proper etiquette for these kind of things sometimes. <clears throat> I did a track with Dew and Marcus Veltri and that's just still paying my rent. Dang. When certain songs can get the streams, that's why adding music to your playlists is, and pre-saving, guys. Shout outs to y'all for streaming the music on Spotify, because YouTube gives us nothing. <laughs> Always get paid when you can. Yeah. Uh, you'll need some stone if you want to build more spheres. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> I'm not worried about if we'll have enough stone for building more spheres. I think we'll be okay. I have a feeling we'll be all right. Just a little hunch. I feel like a Roomba. <laughs> oh my god. All right, good enough, good enough, good enough. Uh, <clears throat> that's why collab is great. Collaborating is great on Spotify because it gives plays no matter what, whose channel they list from. Yeah, that's the pretty nice thing. Definitely. Or did that song, did the Pokemon song ever go to on Spotify, Gibson, or no? I never know, like, with those kind of, like, parody-like things, because I never posted my parodies personally on Spotify. I don't know if other people are able to, because I don't think you can do that, like, through DistroKids, so I don't know. I don't know much about that. Mmm, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. That <laughs> man stealing your rocks. Kill him! You're telling me to kill a pajama? Oh, no. Oh no. Can't do it, brother. Sending vocals through Skype. Ooh wee. Good times. <laughs> oh man. Good old Skype. That's a throwback. pre-discord era i know i mean spotify i mean skype was like pretty sketchy back then because like uh you can you were able to get like ips or something through skype and stuff like that like it was just not <laughs> just not the business skype call ringtone true skype ringtone was pretty fire i did enjoy that i miss that stuff but I'm okay. I think Discord was a good thing that we all needed. Did I use TeamSpeak? I never used TeamSpeak, but I used Ventrilo back in the day for like, wow. <laughs> I never used Mumble. Yeah, just, just uh, Vent, Ventrilo, that's it. 
Did I use Ventrilo too? Hell yeah. Good times. Hi, Dex. <laughs> Skype was a piece. Uh. Uh. <laughs> let me add him. You can pay to get a telephone number for people to call you from a landline onto your Skype. Yeah. I just don't like using Skype these days. I feel like all, like, <laughs> the times I've logged back into my Skype, if I've ever, like, had to somehow, or, like, it just automatically did, like, on Windows or, or whatever, I would, like, constantly, like, these days, I feel like Skype is just, like, dead. And, like, the only time I've... Like, I would log in and see, like, a message from somebody, and it's just, like, their account got hacked or something. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, kick. I feel like that was, like... I barely use Snapchat, so, like, kick was, like, Snapchat to me. I, like, never use Snapchat. I didn't really use kick very much. But, man. I remember that existing. Calling via Skype or emailing is dated? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I'm sure people still do the Skype stuff. But yeah, I think it's nice. Having business stuff over Discord just feels... more familiar. Or whatever. Hi, Rock Gamer. Hello. <laughs> I always vibe with the Skype ringtone, I know. Is that it? That's it, right? <laughs> am I remembering this correctly? Please tell me I am. Or is that Apple? Am I? No, I'm not. I'm wrong? What am I thinking of? That's Apple, isn't it? Had a nano leaf rep that was like 40 or 50 years old and only emailed, then she got replaced with someone my age at games and uses Discord. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's the Apple one? Crap. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Skype had that little bubbly sounding sound in it. Oh, no, I'm forgetting. I feel like I can't replicate it off the top of my head. Goes do do do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that rings a bell. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. What the? Oh, we're good. Good times. See, I told you. Do do do. <laughs> do do do. <laughs> Man, I haven't heard that in so long. I haven't heard that sound in so long. Music to my ears. But also, like, that brought back some memories of, like, just, like, having to wait on a friend to answer. You're just, like, playing League. You're like, God damn it, Johnny. Answer Skype! Or wait, isn't that a- wait, isn't that a meme? Like, someone said something Skype? Hi, Ludus. Right? It's like, Kevin, Skype or something. You guys remember that? It was like someone made it or posted it on disc or on Twitch in a Twitch chat, and everyone was like, oh mega lol. I know, god damn it, Johnny. Answer the goddamn Skype call. Whee. Uh oh, thank you, Vamp, by the way, for the hydration reminder. You are receiving a call. Getting call dropped three times a league game. <laughs> oh, good night, pajama. Thanks for mining with us. Um. What else can I add to this? Anything? No. What about you? Do this. The killer drops? Uh, I did not, Tuna. I have no idea. I am unfamiliar. 
cross-platform instant messaging and v VOIP client. I've never heard of that one. You've been playing Minecraft since 2012? Dang, we got an OG over here. I've only been playing since 2018. My little baby. Oh, voice over internet protocol. Gotcha. How many layers will we get done today? As many as we can. Cool. Very interesting. I've been playing 2012 since Minecraft. Nice. Nice. All right, how is this area looking? What's up with all these strips? What's up with all of this? This looks crazy looking. Uh, T-Dog, thanks for the 29 months, dude. I appreciate it. I don't know why I said I've, but I appreciate it too. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think I've been playing since 2011 or something. Wouldn't be streaming now if I never started Minecraft. Really? Dang. Minecraft the real OG, dude. Yeah, I was exposed to Minecraft really late. I'm a late Minecraft bloomer. I was missing out all these years. Mega build? Sorta. Yeah, you could say that. It's for a mega creeper farm, so we'll have m all the creeper drops we'll ever get or need. I was exposed to Minecraft in 2011 on a pirated copy. Oh no. The cracked Minecraft. Do -do 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 -do. Got some caves to demolish up in here. Uh, do I know Filza? I am familiar with him, yes. Oh, that reminds me. Well, Filza reminded me of Bleach because I know his like, his profile picture is, or his like, skin in Minecraft is like, um, Oh my god, what's his name? Oh my god, Bleach Guy? You know? Oh, god damn it, Val. Uh, crap, what's his name? Uh, chat, how, am, how is this happening to me? Udahara, thank you, Jesus. I was like, the guy with the hat and the, the stripes. Yeah, Udahara. Uh, ah! Uh, Yeah, him. Ichigo. <laughs> Thought he was laughing at me. Ura ha ha. <laughs> Hat and clogs? Yeah, that one. But guys, I don't know if you guys saw on my tweeters today, but I retweeted Shonen Jump came out with some official Shonen Jump merch, which I thought was like really sick. Unfortunately, the merch was pretty expensive. Did that stop me from getting anything? Sadly, no. <laughs> I was like, I was looking at it. They had like one peach and one peach. One piece. One piece stuff. And they also had bleach stuff. And I was like, oh shit. And then just like regular like Shonen Jump stuff. But I was like, bruh, I don't have any bleach merch. So I went and I, I went and clicked the link as fast as I could. And I went. Here, I will show you guys. I will let's all show <laughs> Pleach <laughs> Pluruto. Uh, I'll show you guys what's on there. Shonen Jump. But I thought it was really cool because it was like the first time they've ever released official merch and stuff. So I was like, ooh, I want to support this because I think that's really cool. And I think they I would like to see them make more and stuff. So um, so this is the One Piece stuff. They have like the Shonen Jump, kind of just like, that's it. But the Bleach stuff, dude? Ooh, ooh. 
I saw, okay, wait, let me, okay, so this is what they had for One Piece. They had, I haven't seen One Piece, so I'm not really familiar, but that shirt looks really cute. So a lot of people had complaints about the pricing, which I agree is like pretty expensive. It's $40 for these t-shirts, 65 for a duffel bag. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is the other One Piece shirt. Always got bleach merch. Mm, I know the bleach hoodies. This hat's pretty cool. But like I said, I don't watch any One Piece and they have like the most... Did I say One Peach again? I swear to God. What is wrong with me? One Piece. One Piece. I can't. Love One Peach. <laughs> Why do I keep saying this? Um, I don't see any machine washable mouse pads. Too true. I'm doing great, Chef. How are you? I know I'm literally drinking peach tea, so that's what it is. Buying peaches tomorrow? I'm just on the peach tea grind. That's what's happening. All right, and then the bleach. I looked at this and I cried because, like, I was like, I'm getting this, and then I was like, fuck me, that's ninety dollars. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I did it anyways, because I couldn't let this slip. And it is sold out. I thought this was sick. I got it in small, but I was like, fuck, this looks dope, bro. This looks so fire. Also, the shitty thing about Shonen Jump is it says no return or exchanges, and it's only available to the US. So I was like, damn. $90 will not stop me. I know, I can't. I can't. I couldn't just say no to this. I was like, okay, fine, I have to get this. But then I was like, mm, I don't know if I want the others. Like, this one's cool and all, but I didn't get it. Cause I was like, I'm not paying $290. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to start wearing my merch backwards on stream. I actually really like designs that have like things on the back. Like this shirt is really cool too. It's Renji with bleach on the back down the spine. I think that looks really cool. But the problem is, yeah, $290, okay? <laughs> um, oh, then don't read it. Oh, can we normalize not making dope de <laughs> I really like it for some reason. But the problem is, yeah, like on stream, no one gets to see it. Yeah, I really like the, the 20th anniversary logos, but I felt like this was pretty reasonably priced. The, the mug? I still didn't get it though. I don't know. I could... I just don't know if I want to. I already have so many mugs, but this one's pretty cool. I know, Gibson. You're right, but I like the idea of it so much. Like my favorite like designs of shirts are like, like I'm wearing one right now where there's like a design here and then the whole design is, God, get this out. Like, you know, on the back. I just like them so much, but then no one's gonna- no one sees it, you know? If it's stuff I wear in public, then yeah, cool, yeah, but I don't leave the house either, so it's a struggle I have. It is the internal struggle, but they're so sick. This one was cute. I really liked her outfit in this, but again, 40 doll hairs, and I was like, this looks so sick, though. I like how she wearing that oversized look. Cause like, I like how her, she had it cropped here and the, the sleeves were the same size. I thought that was super cute. <sighs> I wear cool stuff on stream more. That's fair. Makes sense. I totally understand, but I still can't help myself. And I still buy fucking things that have the designs on the back because I just can't help myself. <laughs> I can't. But yeah, so this is on Shonen Jump. This is all they have for now. Like they have like the Shonen Jump stuff here, um, but that's it. No Naruto yet, or no, like they'll, they'll they said that they're going to add stuff in the future. Um, so yeah, but heads up, no returns or exchanges, which is kind of like my gripe with it. I'm not super stoked on that, but it is what it is. It's not gonna fucking stop me from buying it anyways. <laughs> Hire a photographer to follow you around, take pics from the back. Seriously, that's what I need in my life. <laughs> I just need to walk outside and have somebody take pictures of my outfits so that I can at least commemorate them. What kind of store doesn't offer returns or exchanges? I don't know, maybe they don't have like the customer service to do that. I don't know. 
Yeah, like especially, or at least in exchange, you know? Like what if someone bought the wrong size? Or what if something uh, was defective with their product or something? Like that would really suck. So that's like the only thing that I'm just like kind of bummed out about, but like I said, it ain't stopping me. <laughs> it ain't stopping me. They know that people are still gonna buy it anyway. Like me. I just, I was like, this is my time to get bleach merch. Fuck it. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck you, our money now, L. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, no problem. Thank you for sharing the site. You're so welcome. Um, yeah, store going through, I don't know. I mean, obviously they don't have like the means to make that an option. I'm sure like maybe they were just wanting to test it out first before they have like the ability to have customer service or something. I don't know. You know? IDK. Who knows? I don't work at Shonen and Jump. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like 25 bucks is like not a bad price though for a mug personally. I'm like, I mean, if they're especially pricing like the hoodies at 90 bucks, I feel like 25 bucks is like pretty, like more on the cheaper side to be honest. But yeah, I don't know. I'm still debating on the mug. I don't know if I should get it or not. I could be drinking my cute peach tea in my bleach cup. Mm hmm. That could be. Oh, from a sanitary standpoint. Bleach tea, mm, yes. Mm, yes, my favorite. My fave. Bleach tea. <laughs> Buying online, you need to know what country the sizing is for. That's true too. Well, it's only available to be shipped to the US too. So I'm sure like whatever company or distributors that they went through was just limited. Obvi. Some Ichigo tea would be dope though. True. I'd be down. Yo, does that exist? I've never had any. Strawberry tea. That'd be nice. Fuck. That sounds delicious. Yeah, strawberry flavored tea. Mmm. Sign me up. I wonder if it would get enough flavor though. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like some strawberry flavored things are like pretty weak tasting of strawberry. I could see tea being, having that problem. But what do I know? Vanilla chai tea is best tea. That is pretty good. Very tasty. Ha, <laughs> tasty. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> tea with lemon and honey. Classic, classic. Peach oolong, yeah, I have some of that too. I was sent some tea from Eno and he sent me a melon one that I was drinking last stream and oh my God, so good. So, so good. Absolutely delicious. Thanks again, dude. Cannot thank you enough for that life blessing. Uh, chai means tea, so saying chai tea is redundant. <laughs> well, maybe I just want to be redundant. Tea tea. I didn't know that though. I didn't know. I thought chai was like a spice for some reason. <laughs> uh, on a real note though, I always feel, felt that tea didn't have enough flavor. Is there a big difference between the peach tea you're drinking and other flavored teas? Um, I feel like there are di different teas. It all also depends on like how long you're steeping the tea for. Sometimes you can add flavors, like you can add like milk and sugar to your teas if you want to sweeten it or some honey or lemon, you know, it depends. There's always ways to like, you can always dress up a tea. It's like a salad, <laughs> kind of. I don't know. Uh, would I consider TwitchCon Amsterdam if it's even happening? Probably not. Um, I would, as much as like that would be really cool to go, I don't really think I would see myself going. 
because like part of me sometimes when it comes to traveling I wish I liked it more I just anxious bean yeah tea is basically a salad <laughs> you can you can I don't know it's versatile <laughs> tea is versatile okay you can you can add as many salad leaves or dressing as you would like in your tea you know you can add as many i don't know what i'm fucking saying but trust me on this one trust me <laughs> trust do you add milk sugar to this peach tea no i just drink it straight i personally don't add any sweeteners or any like extra stuff to my tea because i just like it plain um but that's just me i know some people really like like English tea is like black tea with milk and sugar is typically what people do. That's like a classic combination. Um, but I'm a big, just straight plain tea kind of gal. Whee. This peach tea doesn't need anything else. Yeah, I'm drinking the the Momo one today. You know, not the oolong one, the black tea one. But yeah, like herbal teas are generally pretty flavorful as well. Like when I was drinking the celestial one, like those are pretty heavily flavored. Like there's a lot of flavoring in that, in, in those or whatever. Pretty good. Yo, take care, Sticky. Till next time, you know it. Have a good one. Thanks for chilling. You can make tea from rose petals and eat them in a salad. Sure. <laughs> Live your dreams. Hearing chai tea always cracks me up. Today I learned. But it's like, so, I mean, yeah, I guess. Matcha is nice with milk though. Uh, yes. Matcha lattes. Um, I've only ever ordered matcha lattes, so I've never made anything matcha at home. Cause isn't matcha like generally Pretty uh, bitter. I like my matcha teas or lattes pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, we're going all the way down to negative 59. We're on 26 right now. Hi, Tom Skill. Hi from France. Always nice to see your stream in the morning. Well, hello, hello. How's it going? Uh, are there any teas that you just do not like or will not try? Caffeine free, of course. Um, I don't know. I'm not like a I'm not like a big tea connoisseur, so I don't really like I'm still pretty new to the world of tea, I guess. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what's all out there. I so I don't know. I mean I'm I don't know if I like earthy flavors as much. Like I, I want my tea to taste good. Yeah. My uncle sent us matcha powder and I don't know what to do with it. Help. <laughs> Uh, isn't like matcha sp supposed to be like prepared specifically too? Like don't you have to use like that that specific like like a grinder for it? Or I guess it depends on what kind it is, but you can do matcha shots But they're bitter for only for a moment. Oh, man I need someone to show me the truth behind tea. I've always found it lacking flavor I think usually if it lacks flavor you could just steep it for longer, I guess technically I don't really like my teas super duper strong, so I just like steep it for like a little. Some people like their teas pretty strong. I just snort the matcha powder, most efficient. <laughs> you know, you do what you gotta do, I guess, sometimes. Just, I don't, I don't know what, what that, what benefits that would give you, but fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Live your life. Snort all that matcha. The fastest way. <laughs> To enjoy matcha is by snorting it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't do that. It has to be prepared a certain way. I feel like there's probably like more like like a lazy person's matcha, right? Like an instant matcha of sorts. There has to be. There's gotta be. Uh, a song black tea and it's very good. It says it's commonly used for milk tea and I can see why the flavor is strong enough to be tasted through milk if I wanted to add some. 
Oh, yes. See, like, uh, like, Tai T is pretty strong as well, right? I'm not entirely sure what kind of specific tea Thai tea is, but it's kind of like that, I would assume. I always put milk in my tea. Dentist told me if black tea colors your teeth more, wait, uh, told me black tea colors your teeth more than black coffee does? Mm. Oh no. So the milk help, does the milk help to lessen the stains? That is the elixir of my life, yes. I've tried getting like Thai tea like home kits and they just don't taste the same as like the Thai tea when you get it at a restaurant or anywhere else. I know, milk tea is so good. I have to make my own milk tea at home though because I feel like even though like milk tea places claim that they're dairy free, Something's still upsetting my tum-tums, and I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know, man. Actually, doesn't Thai tea use, like, cream? In certain places? I feel like that's what it is. It's like a sweet cream or something. It's not milk. Because it's much sweeter. Or it has, like, a different taste. Hello, dreams! How's it going? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Probably does not even need that much milk to lessen the stains. Oh, good to know, good to know. Does that mean like, like other darker teas, pro I would assume other darker teas that aren't black tea would also have the same effect? Or... That's because they add so much sugar, I imagine. What exactly is milk tea anyway? Like I've drank it, but I don't know what it actually is. I'm pretty sure it's just like like a tea, like a green tea or a black tea or whatever flavor it is that you're getting. And then it's like probably a crap ton of sugar and then some kind of milk. That's literally it. It's just milk and tea. Nothing crazy. Nothing out of the ordinary. But yeah. Hi, Yui. Thai tea is made from strongly brewed black tea, often spiced with ingredients such as star anise, crushed tamarind, cardamom, and occasionally others as well. Oh, okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Yeah, straightforward enough, right? It's it's like it says, milk tea. <laughs> milk and tea. But yeah, pretty simple. I feel like it's funny because, like, I mean, I don't know who came up with like the way like Britons drink their tea. Usually it's like with milk and sugar, but they like the OG milk tea drinkers, I would assume. Oh, I hope you feel better, dreams. I hope you feel better soon, dude. Uh, sweetened condensed milk? Maybe that's what makes Thai tea taste so good. Us filthy Brits, says the freaking Kiwi. Just mentioned black tea. I quit coffee and started drinking tea and she told me to add milk. Gotcha. Do you prefer it with milk now? Or did you prefer it without before? Because if I were to add like milk to like a fruity tea, I don't know if I'd like that. I've never tried it though. And to answer the question about like teas I wouldn't want to try, I really don't know. I, I'm sure like if I were to try it and not like it, then it would be like, all right, well, I'm just not gonna get that anymore. Or I'm not gonna drink that anymore or whatever. So it's hard to say, because I just don't really know. I'm not as well versed. You don't like milk and tea? Yeah. I haven't tried it enough to really be able to be like, yeah, I don't like it either. Oh, nothing different then tea with lemon is pretty, pretty, pretty standard kind of thing. Oh my god, guys. Do you guys remember when I bought the uh, the cinnamon apple um, teas? It's like a cinnamon apple spice tea on Amazon recently, and that it came in like that bulk packaging or whatever, 
And I was like, oh, I got this because it was like nostalgic. Like I remember drinking it back in the day and I couldn't remember it was if it was me or my mom that had drank it. And then I drank it and I was like, for some reason this tastes like super chemically <laughs> and it was shit, yeah. I don't know, but I, when I was looking through my, my Instagram stories yesterday, I found a picture, I kid you not, of me drinking that tea specifically. And I was like, it was my own goddamn self that chose to do this. Ah! I was like, really? I thought that was just so funny though. I was like, I can't believe I actually have a picture of me. Oh, just drinking that specific tea. Like I almost want to find it just to show you guys. Like, look at this, look at this. I'm gonna go through my archived photos. Cause I, I just, I was like, dude, I can't believe I've kept all these pictures up here this long. Cause I scrolled all the way down to 2012. My first picture was a picture of the league loading screen, or and it was a, a, a picture of Skara streaming league. And I was just like, what? And then my captions, oh my god, so cringe, dude. Anyways, let me find this picture, because I was like, oh my god. Back, I was like, yeah, it was kind of nice to look back and see that I was drinking tea back then. I was like, okay, nice. Tea drinker Lunity. Lunity. I like it. But god, some of these I was like, man, I just need to get these off of here. I had literally just a picture of blueberries. I was like, why? Why do I have this here? I don't know. But it was kind of nice <laughs> to go back. I actually found a, a post of my first time having sushi. Which was May 19th, I think, 20... something. <laughs> but it was like, first time eating real sushi, and I was like, damn, really, girl? Sheesh. How'd you not have it sooner? I guess my family didn't really like or care for sushi too much growing up. Uh, let's see. Look at this. Just grapes. Or no, this is blueberries. Why did I just take a picture of blueberries? I don't freaking know. Yeah, I'm scrolling, scrolling. I'm on December, or September 14th, 2012. Good lord. Uh, I used to post so much back then. Oh, here we go. May 19th, 2012. Today was the first day I had real sushi. It was like a tempura fucking shrimp roll or something. I was like, ah. Um, let's see, what else? What was I going here for? <laughs> so yeah, here's Scar's stream, League Scrolls thing, screen, loading screen. What was I here for? Oh yeah, the tea. God damn it, I have to scroll so much higher for this. I totally forgot what I was doing. Fuck. <laughs> it was when I moved in to my own place and I scrolled all the way down. Oh, here it is. Look, yo, look at this, chat, look at this. I'm gonna show you real quick. I thought this was so funny because I just see a big blueberry photographic nerd on mine. God damn it. Okay, just don't, are you kidding me? Don't mind, but look at this. I was drinking the celestial, it's the freaking, what is that? Cinnamon apple spice. I know, I was like, oh, that tea. That's so funny. I was a picture of me giving Pikachu a bath. Not bad. I had a really cute picture of my tea at work one time. And it was like, my tea loves me. And I was like, aw, how cute. Hang on, let me show you. I was going down, look at this. Isn't that cute? There's a little heart in my tea from the sun. Nice. I know, look at me posting. I used to post random stuff, dude. And then I, I showed this on Discord, but remember when I was talking about the sword, Frostmourne, the other day? I actually have like a half picture of it. It's terrible and it's it's got, it's filtered to shit, but I was like, oh man, nice. Nerd got bigger. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is what you're signing up for when you're watching this stream, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I was like going through memory lane. Like I archived all of these pictures cause I was just like, these are too old. This is literally 10 years ago. Like, what is this? Like. What is this? 
Why did I take a picture of that? It just says, hashtag work. <laughs> oh god, the cringe, bro. I can't. Oh, I thought this was what everyone came for. Have you seen my stapler? <laughs> Dude, 10 years ago, at my cell phone job. <laughs> hashtag work. It's just so funny. Like reading the freaking captions sometimes, so I'm just like, <sighs> shake my head, dude. One of the captions, <laughs> it, it's, it was funny because like some of the things that I was like looking at, we were like talking about recently. Do I have a MySpace? Hell yeah, I had a MySpace. I don't know about what happened in MySpace these days, but you know, I, I would love to have had it stick around up until now. Hashtag get money, get paid. Oh my god, <laughs> like there was so many things. I was just like, dude, I should have reacted to my old posts on stream and just laugh with you guys. But then some of them I was like, I'm okay, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm good. Hello, Cullen. Uh, I used to play the text-based games, like there was a vampire when I played too much. Text-based games? What is that? What is that? Like, through texting? Uh, the best feeling you can have in life is looking back at yourself and cringe. It means you've grown, even now. In this moment, if you don't look back and cringe, you haven't grown. Although you could just be cringe forever, but that's not the point. <laughs> True! True! We're li literally laughing at you. Okay, well at least I can laugh at myself with other people instead of me laughing at myself alone. Okay? Whatever. Um, there's this new thing called Space Hay that is pretty much what MySpace was. You can do all the customizations and add music and all that jazz. I wonder if that's where like the emo kids are these days. Maybe they have one of those. But um, man, yeah, just like looking through some of the posts, I was just like, this is so funny. Like this is so funny. Just reading some of the freaking captions. Do you guys remember when TSM's like saying was like, fuck it, Bay life? Some of my things, like some of my pictures, were just like with me and my friends playing League and we were like, hashtag fuck it bay life. And I'm just like, oh my god, I cannot with myself. <laughs> Anyone? This was 10 years ago, okay? No? Alright. We're just cringing at me only? Alright. <laughs> I see how it is. Yeah. Man. I should have known I'd be alone cringing at myself. Physically cringing. Dude, you're telling me. One of my posts was literally me just making fun of my coworker for his League of Legends gaming history. <laughs> I was like, how do you the post was literally just like a uh, like a like a screenshot of like one of his games and I was just making fun of his score. Because he had done like 43,000 damage and his score was 0, 0, 0. And I was just making fun of him. And I was like, how does this happen? I thought it was the funniest thing ever. What? Oh. Oh. You achievey, achievey horin. Huh. Huh. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Did you get my league record? Dude, it's kind of funny going back and looking at how cringe we were back then though, you know? It's like, man, kind of like, you know, it's nice to know that I've grown since then at least a little bit. Still cringe, but that's fine. I just choose the cringe life, you know? Does It has not chosen me. Right, Kiri, thanks for the three months, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Leaf. Welcome back. Man, what else did I find? What else did I find? I don't know. I saw like a post of when my YouTube channel had like 18,000 view or subs, and I was like, whoa, so cool. And I was like, whoa, cool. Or like seeing the League client back when it was like older or whatever. Listen, 
As far as like physical growth, okay, I understand there has been no growth in the 10 years, but like, <laughs> I can't control. Oh. I have no say in that, all right. <laughs> I have the same shoe size as I did when I was in grade seven. <laughs> I am fine with this. It's okay. I was literally saying, oh god. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm just kidding. It's all good. <laughs> but also, it's true. It's true. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. I always wondered, you know, I was like, I wonder if I'll ever grow any taller. Never happened. But that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> I don't even know what age grade seven is. I've never been to school. I think, oh God, what is it, 14 or something like that? Did I thank Raikiri for the resub, by the way? Raikiri, thank you so much for the three months. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back, my friends, to the Looniverse. So good to have you here. Thank you. We love small Looney. <laughs> yes. In May 2016, the data for almost 360 million MySpace accounts was offered on the Real Deal Dark Market website. Nice! Love that for us. Pretty good. <laughs> 14 is ninth grade. Oh, shoot. Yeah, okay. I never know how to calculate these things. 12? Oh, it's 12. Okay. So 12 year olds. Sorry. So, yeah, I. When I was 12, <laughs> I have not grown since I was 12. Oh. Hello, Jessica, by the way. Welcome to the stream. My pics from college, cringe AF, and I wore bright colors, even more cringe. Oh, dude, it's so fun to look back at, though. Like, does that mean that in 10 years from now, I'm gonna look at myself here and be like, oh my god, so cringe. Like, am I? Am I not gonna be into anime and be like, look at this girl wearing all her Naruto merch, thinking she's all that shit and stuff, like, cringe. Like, am I gonna think like that? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Kill the part of you that cringes. Exactly. I actually really like that. So you weren't even short at 12 then, were you? I was the same height as I am now. I like Naruto just as much 10 years ago, so true. Well, I actually wasn't introduced to like Naruto and anime until my adult life, I guess. Like, aside, aside from, like, Yu-Gi-Oh and all that, you know? Something traumatic will have to happen to not like anime anymore at this point? True. I don't know. I feel like there are certain things that I would be surprised if I wouldn't be into it later on in life, you know? After a certain point, like, as an adult, or like, you know. But who knows? Things can always change, I guess. Interests. I was 4'8 at 12. I mean, maybe I was a little shorter. I have no clue though. I really don't know. You'll be a nerd for life. I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe there's gonna be this cool new game that we're all into and playing at that time. And we'll be like super about it. I don't know. What if I stop playing video games? Do you guys ever think about that? Oh, hell no. Hell no. Do you guys ever think about that? Like, if you think about, like, will I still be playing video games until I'm whoever, whatever, whatever age? Me stop playing video games? I know. Because I've known some people who, like, were super into playing video games. And they just don't anymore. You know? Like they just are into other stuff. I don't know. I don't know how they do that. I mean, neither. Like, I feel like I've gone, I've like 
if anything, I've gone the opposite direction. Like, you'd think I'd be into more, like, adult-like things. Like, I don't know. What do, what do adults like to do? Like, I don't know. Plants? I, I don't know. I know a lot of, like, people are really into plants these days. I'm not one of those yet. Brunches? Okay, brunches can be fire. Yeah, I don't know, like, what- I mean, like, maybe if I just watched, um, only watching Netflix or something? I don't know. Depends on the love of your life and his choices? I mean, even if the love of my life was into some stuff? Or, like, if my- if my love of my life was not into gaming? I feel like I'd still play- I'd still want to play games. Or I'd be like, hey, play this game with me. Or, you play this game. <laughs> We're playing this together. I don't know. My friend is like that, uh, was super into games, doesn't know, but I blame his three kids. Um, yeah, I guess like, you know, kids might make it hard for you to find the time to do so. I also know people who spend a lot of their free time playing video games, but then stopped one of my friend's brothers stopped because he thought he was wasting his life. But think about it. Is any time spent happy time wasted? Exactly. I always think that that's like a weird perspective to have. Like if you feel like playing video games is a waste of time, well then like shouldn't watching TV be a waste of time too? You know? Like it's just a way for you to enjoy life like heaven forbid like <laughs> you know i think because people see it as like an unproductive thing or something losing interest in things you love doing is the most scariest thing tbh right it's different for me i think because 99 percent of my gaming is competitive multiplayer that yeah true but have you ever like I don't know, like, even just play, like, a mobile game, you know? Like, I constantly, like, really like playing, like, just games on my phone. <laughs> I'm down to not play. Yeah, I could see that. I could. But even, even still. Like, yeah, like, even if I'm not playing, I'm probably still playing something. Like, I'm always playing a mobile game. I just can't not for some reason. Something about me. My brain just- I, I constantly feel like I need to be doing something sometimes. Like if I'm watching something, especially if it's like more like of a mundane thing that doesn't require my attention, like something like... Not anime, but... I don't know. I have to like play like a Tetris or something. <laughs> God damn it. I don't have a sword on me, so then res resort- <laughs> Ah! Ah! He's dodging me! Jump. Okay. Toilet League. <laughs> nice. Uh, I went to Hawaii for a week to start the year off, and I never once thought, man, I wish I could hop on a game. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, yeah, kind of like you said. Like, I feel like that's different. Like, I think, like, like, I could live without playing a game for, like, a week or whatever and enjoy, like, my time. If I went to Canada, I'd probably be able to. I'd probably still play a mobile game, because that's just, like, natural for me to just have, like, a mobile game when I'm, like, waiting, or if I'm just, like, wanting to chill. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, personally, uh, when I'm not streaming, I'm not really playing video games, but I'm watching anime. But I feel like if I didn't stream video games for like my job, I probably would still want to play something. It's different when you live here? Yeah, no, for sure. It's different if you're vacationing, right? I could sit on a couch and watch someone play a game and be perfectly content. Yeah. I just guess like I'm thinking more for people who completely have stopped just any form of consuming video game related stuff. I just feel like I'd, I'd be, it would feel so not like me, you know? Gaming is still viewed as a weird thing to most people, I think. Obviously the Twitch community here has a different take, but I think a lot of normie people still view it as something that like some nerdy kid does in their mom's basement, unfortunately. Yeah, I think a lot of, wait, why is there a sword on the floor? Wait, did I get that for something? 
I think I might have gotten that as a reward for some. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I think like a lot of like, like let's pretend like a like a, like let's say like a suburban mother probably is like oh, you're playing your video games, blah blah blah, whatever. What does that say in the sky? Love you, Centro, is what it says. Yeah, if you ask like the average person, I'm sure like a, not. Yeah, I, a lot of people aren't into that, I guess, or something. Boomers will judge us younger adults for playing video games, yet they sit and watch NCIS all day, every day. Yeah, you know, it's still like a form of entertainment, so I just don't- I feel like it's weird when people just think of it as like a waste of time. I'm like, well, what are you doing, Sharon? Watching NCIS over there? <laughs> Judging my video games? Okay, I see you. Yeah, I don't know. Very interesting, though. Why do I have this? A nice suburban mother voice. Thank you. Thanks. I was born a gamer and will die a gamer. I just hope that, like, my older self... Okay, chat, I have a question for you. What is, like... Or, I don't know how to word this. It's nothing crazy. It's just a for fun question. Uh, let me think. Do you guys have like a specific hobby? Like one specific, one specific hobby or interest that you would say like perfectly describes you that you have had your entire life. And that you feel like you would have for your whole life. So for example, for me, like I guess you could say gaming. But for me, I feel like mine truly would be jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> I have enjoyed doing puzzles my entire life. And I like from my, my parents to my grandparents to whatever. That I see like I could do that for the rest of my life. But I feel like I would have that more than game. Like that would be something more than gaming to me, I think. Just gaming. This is the same topic as the previous one for me. Oh. Okay, sorry, I don't know. I just thought maybe like there would be a specific thing. Like, like yeah, like cooking or maybe something, I don't know. Screaming into the void, okay. Solving things, puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, fixing cars, bikes. Yeah, like Looney asking gamers what their hobby is. Well, sometimes people have like, diff like extensive hobbies other than just gaming, which I like to hear about. Like, what if it's, yeah, like fishing, or rock climbing, or horseback riding. Uh, I'd say horseback riding, but horse girls get a bad reputation, so IDK if I want to claim that. Fuck it, dude! If you enjoy what you enjoy, fuck it. Disneyland, I call it. Mm, just Disneylanding. Working? That's not a hobby, is it? Fishing, reading, and puzzles? Yeah. Playing drums or hiking? Photography? Cool. Cooking and gaming. Statement, statements like that perpetuate the stereotype. Statements like what? What happened? Did I say something? Outside of gaming, the only other thing that I can see, say has been a part of my entire life is horse racing. Oh, see, that's cool. Yeah, like, see, oh my God. Something more like specific, like other than like, I don't know. I, I just think gaming is like an obvious like given because we all like gaming here, right? I would assume. <laughs> I always love when my friends made fun of my problems and we discuss ideas. That is very specific, but fuck it, that works. Water sports. Why did water sports get freaking automated? Activities, scuba, swimming, jet skis, boating. Cool. I collect anime Blu-rays and Zelda merch collectibles. I love it. I like hearing all this. Collecting plushies. Oh no, don't ask. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Don't want to. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, chat. I didn't know. Pardon me. I, I had no idea. <laughs> sorry. 
Oh, I'm learning too much today. This, these are things I don't need to know. Okay. Thank you for educating. Uh, uh, I'm a tad more concerned at how many of us know why it got automated TPH. Oh, God. It's fine. Collecting decks of cards. Ooh, nice. I read math for fun. Do you actually? I feel like that would be like the opposite of what would be my hobby. Like if there was an absolute opposite of what would be considered like like the absolute opposite of my hobby, that would probably be it. <laughs> Personally. I watch math YouTube vids for fun too. Really? That's so interesting. I mean, why not? It's no different from watching like a history video or something. I don't need this. Uh, the only water this chat needs is holy water. <laughs> oh God. Videos about black holes. Oh goodness. I feel like that's a whole other level of YouTube black hole of YouTube that it is already. All right, do I, should I get more of these? Are all of these bloomed? No, I'll wait. I like learning, figuring things out. I wish I enjoyed math, but I'm gonna blame my teachers for that. You know, it's all their fault. How could they do this to me? But I just can't. Anytime there's like anything relating to math, I'm just like, I literally, my brain literally stops functioning and it just clocks out. It's like, huh? I can't. One of my closest friends does woodworking. Ooh, started a couple years ago and his stuff looks amazing. That's super cool. I like hearing about like people's different hobbies that, that, that are just like other than gaming. Cause like, you know, I think it's fun. I like knowing what people are into. I think it's interesting. Thanks, chef. Enjoy your cooking. I enjoy doing woodworking as well, but I haven't done it in a while because I have no tools for it at the moment. Aw, oh, shoot. Do board games count as gaming? Mm, tabletop gaming? I would guess... Probably. Probably not what like people are used to hearing though. Like if someone was like, are you a gamer? Or do you like playing games? Or like, what's your hobby? And if you answered with like gaming, I think people wouldn't think that it would correlate to board games. Yeah, some video games are literally just graphical board games though. So I think it counts, but I don't think ever, like if you were to explain it or if you were to just say it off the top of your head to somebody that they might not think of that first thing, I guess. Astrobiology or astronomy has always been something I always love learning. That's cool. So cool. I like watching magicians trying to figure out how they do stuff, but then give, <laughs> but then just give up. I, I actually really enjoy doing that too. Like sometimes I'll just be like, all right, slow it down, slow it down, pause. They had to have gotten something. They had to got. They had to have gotten something out of their sleeve here. Something. Something happened here. There's gotta be something. People's favorite game is playing with my heart. Oh. I don't like that hobby. I don't like that one. That's not a good one. <laughs> Uh, DOS box on and have some old DOS games. Dang. Are DOS games like really old, like Microsoft games? Or like Windows games rather, not Microsoft? Is that what it is? Cause I kind of forget, yeah? MS-DOS? Yeah. Oh, it is Microsoft. 
Or is it pre or is it not? Is that what M meant? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> pre Windows 95. Dang. Back in my day, we had Windows 95. Windows 92 even. <laughs> right, Windows 92 is a thing, right? Or am I tripping? Microsoft Disk Operating System. Oh, dang. Windows 3.1? What? Is that a thing? Oh, then Windows 95? I could have sworn there was a Windows 92. Or, or am I thinking Windows 97? I think I'm thinking 97, actually. 97's a thing, right? Right? You guys ever use Windows 69? <laughs> There was a Windows 98. Ah, oh, 98? Really? So no 97? There's a 98. 95 and 98? What the hell? Where am I getting my brain from? Where am I getting these memories? I could have sworn... Like, I would have said it with my chest too. Like, oh, Windows 97. What the hell? Alright, well, I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was kind of close. Uh, 9598 ME 2000 XP. Windows XP? That shit was fire. That shit was fire. An alternate universe? Oh shit, what timeline am I in? What timeline am I in? Oh god. What have I done? Oh yeah, the old pinball. Hell yeah, dude. I would play that game at my dad's work when I had to wait for him to get off work. That was the go-to. Pinball every time. <laughs> uh, Nakin, thanks for the 47 months, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Windows XP pinball? Hell yeah. Dang. Windows Vista was best. People don't realize it. Didn't Vista get memed on super hard because it wasn't very good? <laughs> or there was one that was like memed on pretty hard. I skipped Vista as well. I don't know. Vista, it was Vista? Vista was bad. Yeah, I remember a lot of people just saying that it wasn't good. And then it's just they skipped to something after that, right? Yeah, seven was good, right? Dumpster fire. Capital letters. I went XP to seven, no in between. Oh, uh, where's the list? Someone made a list, right? Seven, oh, Vista, oh yeah, I probably went XP to seven too then. Yeah, they didn't even make a Windows 9 either. Like, what's that all about? Flame ship. Uh, why, what made XP so good? Eight was what, them banking entirely too hard on people moving to only touch screen devices. Oh, what the hell, really? What the heck? 8.1 8 was instead of 9? Why? That's so funny sounding. Let's go with an 8.1 instead of a 9. And what iPhone number are we on now? Oh, super stable. Nice. Good job, Windows. 13? For some reason in my brain, I thought they didn't call it 13 because of like unlucky or something. Am I thinking of something else? <laughs> With fries, nice. I'm not moving to 11 until they let us move the taskbar again. Oh yeah, isn't it in the middle of the screen instead? I, I'm still on the other older. A lot of places do skip 13. Uh. Do y'all get a new iPhone every year because I try to max mine out? Uh, I don't. I just kind of get one maybe like every other. Or like when I notice that mine just needs like 
either like I need like a new feature on one of the things or like if I'm not if I notice I don't have enough space or whatever something like that I wouldn't say every other year because I'm still on I think I have an 11 right now or maybe even a 10 pro or something I don't know 11 pro I think with my plan I have to upgrade every two yeah some plans like specifically kind of like give you the option to upgrade or whatever I'd wait a year before going to 11 let early adopters find all the bugs yeah you know Windows menu pops up in the middle, but the taskbar itself is locked to the bottom of the screen and cannot be moved anywhere. Oh, gotcha. What the heck? XP was actually uh, its own OS. I know it's complicated. I'm simplifying it. Don't you dare actually me, chat. Do not cite the deep magic to me. I was there when it was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lil Par just covering his butt before the actuallys come out. Uh, they keep trying to drag me kicking and screaming to 11. I'm just like, I got this version working, leave me alone. Yeah, I mean, like, unless, like, you... I don't see a problem with just using what you've got if it works for you. I think it's totally fine. I know some people want to be up to date with the newest tech and all that, which is whatever, too what ifs but i just feel like there aren't really that many like important changes these days like like now it's like okay like how many more camera lenses are we gonna add like <laughs> camera like iphone 14 about to have like 20 lenses on this freaking phone or whatever but like there was like a certain point um like there was a certain point in time where like iPhone upgrades were like really big. Like each camera was like a huge difference every year. You know? Like that was, those are pretty crazy. It was like, okay, if you don't get the new phone and you really care about your camera, then you're missing out. But nowadays it's like, are you really gonna notice the difference between like the camera quality from this phone to the next? Like it's kinda, I don't know. I can't even get 11 on my computer because it says it's not compar compatible. Oh, well shoot. R.I.P. But yeah, if you don't care, then whatever. You will though, TBH? I mean, maybe for like... You're talking about like this year's camera versus last year's? Like maybe, but is it like that much? I don't know. I feel like it's mostly gonna be noticeable for the people that care about that stuff. It's kind of like TVs. Like you can, like I know a lot of people don't know the difference between like certain things when it comes to TVs and they probably don't care either. Oh, wait, the jump in phone quality has been going up steadily. Night mode is game changer on cameras. I just mean mostly like the megapixels and stuff like that. That people will recognize on Insta? Probably not, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't mean like the night mode, but I mean more so like megapixels. Cause like back in the day it was like, oh, like we're going from like a, a two megapixel camera to five. Like that was a big deal, you know? Now I don't even know how many megapixels my camera has. Yeah, no, the AI stuff, true, yeah, the AI stuff is pretty cool. But then sometimes people don't even care about, like, those kind of features. I don't know, it all depends what people want in their phones in the, at the end of the day, I guess, but... Yeah, night mode is pretty cool. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks for the blessings. Dude, I actually, like, I don't even know. I, I actually am really unfamiliar with the metaverse. I don't know what it means. I haven't really, like, particularly cared to look into that whole thing. 
So I don't know enough about that topic to say anything about it. I literally don't know. I just haven't... I just, I don't know if I really care or not. I don't know if I should care. Is that something I should care about? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm just like, I don't know. Is this something to do with Facebook? With the meta name change? I'm excited for the Overwatch 2 2030 release to Xbox Game Pass. I, I feel like even all of that, I was like, I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm so out of the loop when it comes to that stuff. Under investigation from the Federal Trade Commission? I, I'm it's just a VR environment they are trying to push? Is it real? <laughs> is this real or is this like a an idea? Or, I, I don't know. They're trying to expand like Google did when they became Alphabet. So it's- oh! Good thing I just randomly stopped. That would have been a dead pick for sure. So is it Facebook that's trying to do all this? Like Facebook's trying to be the next Google or what? It just means the hyper online world? Oh, so it's just like a, a, a generalized thing? It, is it not necessarily associated with a brand or something? Uh, it's still just an idea. Oh, okay. It's not associated with any one company. Oh, okay. VR chat for smart people. <laughs> I did see the VR sh Walmart shopping experience thing. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys feel about it? I don't know if I like it. I feel like the only time I go out is to go grocery shopping. So I don't know if I need that in my life. Like the one time I leave my house. <laughs> so maybe it would be even more unhealthy if I completely had everything VR. But most companies will jump into it soon. Oh man, this is stressful. I don't know why, but it just feels... Overwhelming, kind of? Winnie the Pooh! What is that? Something to do with honey? Drink some honey. Nice. That's pretty cute. I've been to Target two nights in a row, not gonna lie. I thought about your addiction. See, this is why, this is exactly why I talk about it so much. And this is exactly why I need a sponsorship. Use Looney something at checkout for a commission or something. Pog. The salads do slap, I, I gotta say. Like the, the Target brand ones? Good. In a year, you'd be attached to wires and tubes, no need for water or toilet to be a closed system? I don't know about that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some people. I don't think all people. Target tank tops, my working workout clothing of choice. Nice. Nice. Uh <laughs> nice. Oh jeez. Metaverse is basically the matrix? Yeah, is that what I'm getting out of this? I feel like that's what I'm getting out of this. I don't know. Sometimes I don't want technology to get too crazy because. Dude. Sometimes I feel like technology technology is just like gonna ruin a good thing, you know? Like what if technology just ruins the natural life of living? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I I like kind of like the idea of doing things old fashioned a little bit. Yeah, I'm booming out here a little bit. But you know what I mean? No, I don't want to lose the world to just being some VR experience or something. 
It already has. I mean, yeah, but like, I don't want it to get worse. <laughs> Every restaurant will be Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh, I actually had Taco Bell today. It was pretty gross. <laughs> they didn't have Baja Blast. The one time I went to Taco Bell in months, actually, and they don't have Baja Blast. Of course they didn't. What the fuck? Technology will ruin lifestyle? Yeah, I feel like sometimes, may maybe this is an old fashioned thing, but like, I like the idea of like living traditionally to certain extents, cause it like, it's like a, a tie to, um, you know, like, a culture. I feel like technology has nothing to do with culture. Or like culture just gets lost because of it. Does that make any sense? Does that make sense? Like culture and traditions? No? Oh, no one got my reference? Oh, I'm sorry. You can just live traditionally in a VR world. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, like you, you like the idea of it, but you don't want to be in some field milking cows and shit. Yeah, exactly. You know, traditionally, as in washing your clothes in the river. Okay, not like that. Obviously, the convenience of technology is pretty nice. Like you know, having the internet is pretty nice. But like, if I have to do my laundry via VR experience, like I don't know, like that's a bit too much. You know what I mean? Like, personally, I feel like I would rather just go to my washing machine and do my laundry. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just feel like some of it might just feel like it's a little too far. People complain about field work, meanwhile they play farming simulator? I mean, sure. But that's because I don't know. Yeah, it just feels out of touch with reality. And I don't want that. I don't want to get out of touch with reality. I feel like that's fucking scary. Like, that feels really scary. I know, I fucking hate doing laundry. But I feel like I would rather do laundry and feel like a human versus not, like, having to do laundry in my VR world and feel like a robot. Like, I don't know, man feels weird. It sounds really scary. I think a lot of washing machines can be connected to your smartphone as- I know, I think so. Uh, it, I mean, like, there are certain parts of technology, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to go to the Stone Age, guys, okay? I, I appreciate my technology, but I just- I am afraid of the day where it goes too far and then I feel like I have to. Like, at that point, I'm gonna go full boomer and be like my grandpa and be like, I refuse to learn how to use a cell phone. <laughs> you know like I will refuse has science gone too far doctors hate him yeah I don't know man there's just certain things that I'd be okay with just keeping as it is I don't know Maybe that's why boomers don't know how to use technology. Yeah, like it's just kind of hard. I feel like there is a, like a certain point where technology just feels like it's hard to keep up with. Like I feel like a boomer with this whole metaverse thing. Like I don't know. I, I barely even want to care to keep up with what's happening because I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and like my grandpa literally only uses a home phone. He doesn't have a cell phone at all. And like no internet, you know, any of that. Yeah, it's like the desensitiz desensitizing people and like, you know how like all of us are, well, okay, I shouldn't speak for the whole world, but there's a lot of us, AKA me, that are already like super socially awkward and I don't really know how to act as like a human socially sometimes. I feel like, imagine a world 20 years from now, it's just gonna be 10 times worse. <laughs> it's gonna be million times worse. No one's gonna have to interact with anybody, probably, which honestly kind of sounds great. But at the same time, social skills are pretty important. <laughs> so it's just like, well, shit. But in the virtual world, you're a star, so... Wait, what? A star? Like in the galaxy? Or like a, like a celebrity? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. 
Uh, where yes, holodecks exist, but overall the doctor is a hologram android and we just use our smartphones to tell us things and dietize our food. <laughs> These sets, I can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, low par. <laughs> oh, jeez. His mother avatar? Oh my god. My mom has a landline, but is now plugged into a cellular modem that just makes it an IP phone over the cellular network. Interesting. Are we all stars in the galaxy? Let's be honest. True. True. But yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna, there's gonna be a day where I'm gonna be like, I am too old to keep up with this technology shit. And I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna go do my laundry at the river. <laughs> I don't know. Would be a dwarf star. Oh, that's me. Tis I. The <laughs> fuck? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, laundry at the river with a washboard, the piece of wheat in my mouth, and a Kekona hat. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Sending Looney a washboard. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I don't know, man. Interesting times we live in, though. But it is kind of interesting. Like, uh, you know how, like, in shows, they'd be like, Oh, in the world 2020, this is what it would look like. And everyone's like, you know, driving floating cars or hoverboards. And I mean, like, I guess hoverboards were like, kind of, sort of like a thing. But it's like so different than what people imagined it to be. Ew, Zendian, what the heck? That sounds nasty. What the hell is that? All right, don't take me back to those days. I am not washing anything in pee, gross. Apple rotary phone next? Hell yeah. Give me that. I want a hoverboard. I think the, uh, gosh, what are they called? The boards that people were used, like, it was literally, like, the craze of whatever year that was in. I mean, a lot of people still use them, but, like, the, the ones with the two wheels, I feel like that's the closest thing. What are they called, guys? When that Mike Tyson fell on- Maybe? What are those called again? Why am I forgetting? There was- I swear, like, everyone wanted one for Christmas that year. Is it just a hoverboard? Is that what it is? Segways? No, I feel like they had a specific name. They were called hoverboards? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure this is what it was. It's interesting that you- I feel like you don't see those as much. Now. Uh, it's like people think that because of technology, the low-tech stuff just goes away and washing stuff in a river is still a thing in many places. That's very true. That is very true. That is very much still how people live their lives. It's just like a lot, obviously, like the more tech, first world, high tech areas will probably have to live the weird VR Walmart lives <laughs> or whatever. But the, well, actually, they don't hover type losers got really upset at the name. Aw. Oh. What year was that where they were the most popular? Because I feel like you just don't see them as much these days. Like, you have, like, a... I feel like I find people using automatic, like, longboards more often now. 2010? That long ago? No way. Yeah, the electric longboards look pretty cool. I still wouldn't trust myself to use one. <laughs> Definitely wouldn't. 2016? That, that sounds like that would make more sense. Those longboards are like two grand? Holy shit, really? I didn't know that. I'm sure there have to be cheaper ones. There has to be. It was fun when I used it though. Oh, hell yeah. I love seeing, you know, security people chilling on those at like malls or something. 
Paul Blart Mall Cop. Pokemon Skateboard? Dude, I just need to add some electronics to it somehow. We Gucci. Paul Blart, I know, right? <laughs> oh. Wonderful. Uh, there are real hoverboards that do float, but it uses a metal surface to ride on. It has super- has rear earth magnets in it. I need to be filled up with liquid nitrogen to work. Goodness. That is intricate. That's a lot of work, bro. Scalpers be taking all the graphic cards. No VR for anyone under one mil. Oh my god. I'm good then. We good. <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, gotta empty these out. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty expensive, but I feel like 500 is roughly what I would expect it to be, price wise, more so over two grand because i feel like i see a, a decent amount of people that have like a electronic like skateboard or longboard or whatever and i feel like there's no way <laughs> that that would have been 2k or something that just feels like way too much but that makes a lot more sense Only cats grew into kittens? What? What the heck are these achievies? Buy one 2k board or five or six 500 boards. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mind your business. You mind your business. recording okay I was like wait a second don't even know if I am or not uh imagine rolling up to twitchcon with a squad on the boards <laughs> oh man super stylish TwitchCon will go through this year. I don't know. I was seeing, uh, I'm sure as most of you guys have seen, that concert with the, the When We Were Young one. I feel like I liked the idea of it, but there's no way. <laughs> I, don't, I personally don't think I'm gonna go, and I, I don't really feel sad about it, because, like, it looks so cool. But I can't imagine cramming all of that in 12 hours. I just feel like it would just feel like crazy and hectic. I know, the lineup looks absolutely amazing. Sup, Jam. Sup. It's not gonna be crammed into 12 hours? There will be different sound stages. Well, yeah, but I think there people were saying there's only three stages. So you have to pick which- wait. Uh, I think there will be multiple- yeah, I've heard people say that there's three stages, but still, like, three stages for all of those bands and only on one day. I saw some people mention, I personally haven't done the math or whatever, but some people were saying in order for it to work out, it would have to be, like, 20 minute set times. Um... And that's like if things ran perfectly smoothly. But I just feel like if there's only three stages, like I would have to choose like which groups or which bands I'd want to see and stuff. But, oh yeah, the pick. Thank you. It's also unfortunately ran by the same people who did the Travis Scott Astroworld thing. Yeah, that's what that was another thing I heard a lot of people say and it was like a concern of theirs. And I was like, shoot, that's true. That's kind of nice. So, I don't know. I If they have like a live stream for it, I would pay to watch the live stream. 
I also just hate crowds, so I'm not a big crowd person. Who would I want to see most on that list? I think Paramore because I've ne I never got a chance to see Paramore live. There are like a few bands that I've seen at like Warp tours and stuff like that, but I would definitely I think Paramore would be really high on the list for me personally. Yeah, Live Nation's like the biggest and most well-known one, but it like sucks to know. Like I hope that they don't have another weird thing going on. Uh, what do you think about a free achievement room in the nether where people can pick up items to get achievements? Could be a community project to work on different things. We could. Sounds fine to me. I used to see Haley Williams at the movie theater all the time. What the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck? Uh... <laughs> oh, United. I was like, what are you talking about? But then I remembered the story and I was like, oh god. <laughs> oh god. All right, guys, I'm gonna farm the geode and then we will take it down. Is that okay? I know not all of this is ready, but I'll just do it anyway, just so that I know. Is it okay if I, yeah, okay. I'm just like, I don't know. Lived in Nashville, Tennessee for seven years. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy that you would like just see her chilling. But yeah, I, I've never in my life got to see Paramore. I feel like that would be the only one I would care for, really. Well, not no, that's not true. <laughs> ah, well, whatever. We're tearing it down anyway. Um, I'd have to see the list again. To really remember. Imagine traveling to that concert, then it get, gets canceled. Well, that was like another concern people were saying was they don't. I, from I, this is all like from what I've heard. I haven't looked this up at all, and I feel bad, like when I talk of like have conversations or discussions about things when I didn't look it up myself. But whatever. Um, I heard a lot of people say that on the website there also weren't like a lot of guidelines for like COVID stuff, so that was like a concern of a lot of people's, which I feel like would also be a concern of mine. <laughs> like no, there was no like thing about like, oh, I don't know, something to do with anything related to COVID, so. Also no refunds unless the event gets canceled, which is also like, ugh. Is Bring Me the Horizon on that list? Oh, I would be down to see that too. That'd be another pretty high on my list, but I think I would care about Paramore more. Paramore more. Uh, I never was big into concerts and was only getting into it in like 2018, 2019. Oh no. Not a whole lot of time for getting into more opportunities, huh? They are on the list? Mm. Concerts don't usually have refunds? Oh, okay, well, I don't know then. Then I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I would just be concerned about like the capacity thing, especially. I'm assuming they would be doing it outside though. Cause especially with like that many people, like I would expect it to be kind of like a warp tour situation. But yeah, I hope they live stream it. <laughs> Number one favorite concert I've been to. Um, man, that's hard. <laughs> Cause I'm a really big Lights fan and I really liked all of her shows. All of her shows were really, really great. But also, I think like the biggest one I had been to was like a Billy, Billy Talent concert. Cause they were like one of my favorite, favorite bands growing up. And like they played at like the biggest stadium in my town or whatever. So that was like the biggest one I attended. Um, but also like a really cool one was uh, a day to remember. I've seen a day to remember a few times. Really, really like them live. They're very cool. I had some friends that opened for a day to remember. I thought that was really sick. Oh crap, I'm using the wrong fucking thing. Um, 
But I also had like, I think one of the most impactful ones that I had been to was like a really small band that I had heard for the first time called I the Mighty. I just thought they were really good and I really liked their music afterwards. And it was super sick. I can't remember if I performed for that one or not, but I don't know. Yeah, Billy Talent was my favorite band growing up of all time. Like, I was like obsessed. They were my like, you know, if I were to be like a K-pop stan or whatever, that would have been my equivalent back when I was younger, I guess. Like, I really, really, really liked them a lot. I thought they were so cool. I would like watch like a Billy Talent DVD and I'd make my mom watch it with me. <laughs> And I'd be like, see mom, going out on tour isn't so bad. <laughs> Cause that's, that was like my dream growing up. Who is Billy Talent? They're a uh, band from Canada. Um, yeah, Canadian band. Did I w watch Twitch Rivals from Spain? They created a Minecraft game based on Squid Games and 150 streamers from Spain and Let, uh, Let AM are playing to get at 100K. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that. That's crazy though. That's wild. Billy Talent, probably some boomer shit. I mean, I think it's just because they're like Canadian, they probably didn't get as much exposure. Interestingly enough, they're like pretty popular in Europe, I think. Like, I think they have a really big following in like Germany or something. I know, imagine not knowing Billy Talent. Shake my head. Hello. Not knowing this streamer's favorite band when she was younger. Hello, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but yeah, I think Billy Talent was, um, like the biggest one, but I feel like I, I don't know. It's a tough one to answer. So I just told you all of them. <laughs> I just shared every one I've had extended and that's pretty much it. There was one that I thought was pretty cool where, do you guys remember Abandon All Ships? Do you guys remember that band? They like blew up on YouTube and then they got like into some controversial shit or something. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for listening. Why do I care about these little buds? God damn it. Is Lights French? Uh, no, but she's Canadian as well. Um, share all the concerts, yeah. Um, for a th second I th thought you said they were banned from Canada? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Um... I remember that band, holy shit, Abandon All Ships. Yeah, so I went to an Abandon All Ships concert and Woe Is Me was playing with them too. I don't know if anyone remembers Woe Is Me as well. That They were great. But I remember, okay, I'm gonna tear this down, okay guys? I'm tearing it down. I'm tearing it down, any objections? Um, but yeah, so I went to an Abandon All Ships concert and they had triggered like the fire alarm because they did way too much fog. And it was kind of cool because Oh, hello, Zendian. Mr. wants to blow it up with some TNT, I guess. Uh, I was gonna just mine it, but whatever works. Whatever works. If you wanna blow it up, go for it. I'll let you do the honors. No, I don't trust myself with these, oh god. I don't know what to do with this. I, 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 Yes, they are Snow Cone. I think it's the only song I've heard from them. Yeah, they have that song and they have, um, they have a few ones, like, they're not super well known. TNT on the blocks, then shoot it with your bow. <laughs> I'm gonna explode and then this water is gonna go, oh boy. Shoot it with flame bow. Guys, there's so much water around it, though. <laughs> uh, what do I do? What do I do? You place it and light it. Oh my, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Eh. I believe in you. How many should? How many do I have to put? Eh. 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 Hello. We can clean up later. Okay. Prage. I'm scared. I don't trust my ability to do this. 
There's a reason I don't play with TNT. It's just... <laughs> uh... That is true. That is very true. This is terrifying. This is very scary. I just feel like being next to TNT terrifies me. Oh. Um. Okay. Where else? Ah. This. This. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. Hi, yeah, yeah. It's gonna go everywhere. Is this enough? Ah! I don't know. I hope so. Is this enough? Just remember to exit the hole. I will. Is this enough? Do we feel like this is enough? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah? Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, time to blow it up! I feel like I- uh, it's fine. Did I listen to AFI? A little bit. I remember Warp Set where it was a day to remember Breathe Carolina pretty reckless and Sum 41 all on the same stage back to back. Dang, dude. That's sick. Alright, here we go. Is this in the thing? I think it is. Oh. Alright. There goes that. Wow. We did it. Boom. Perfection. That was perfect. Ah. Get these out of my inventory. <laughs> I'm afraid. Not too shabby. Wee. Ow. Why am I picking these up? I don't know. Man, we're close to the deep slate, y'all. It's almost deep slate time. Oh boy. Did we save the calcite? I think so. Uh, there was no calcite left from when I blew it up, so I uh, can only assume. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this in here, and I'm gonna call it a day. Because <laughs> I don't trust myself. Handle that. I just want to stay away from big boom items. Oh, uh, fortune pick where? This one? All right. Uh, probably best to give me the TNT back. Okay. Where did I put it in here? In here? Here it is. Okay. Where are you, Zendian? Where are you? And I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, there you are. Uh, someone must have harvested all the crystal blocks in calcite. Yeah. TNT would blow up the sorting system. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, we don't want that. We do not want that. Alright, look at this. Wow. So much progression. Uh, the biggest known geode is just enough for one person to fit inside. Oh, what? Um, twas I. But yeah. So those are my favorite concerts, I guess. Yeah, I feel like seeing Paramore live would be super dope. Especially like the old Paramore stuff. Like, ooh. That is awesome. But yeah, I think tickets go live for it, what, tomorrow? Or something? Or today? Or something? I'll just prage for a live stream. So I don't have to leave the house. <laughs> oh, I did go to Warp Tour one year. 
I don't remember very much of it, unfortunately. Um, but it was really cool. I'm, like trying to remember who I saw. I think I saw Pierce the Veil, Bless the Fall. Those were like the headlining stages though. Oh yeah, Fallout Boy. I don't know if I saw Fallout Fall Boy there. Yeah, some bands are just really good live and some are just really not. <laughs> some are just not as great, unfortunately. Never have. They're really good, I'd say. Very, very good. They're not on that list, are they? I forget. Or is Mayday Parade on that list? I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Like, listening to all the old Mayday Parade songs. Ooh, man. I think they are, though. I think I remember seeing it. They are? Oh, Pog. Oh, yeah. Being able to have seen Linkin Park as a full group would have been amazing. R.I.P. Chester. Literally doesn't talk the whole day until she needs to go and sing so she doesn't stress her voice. Really? Dang. I feel like, I don't know about that. Is that like a, a fact? I feel like I sound worse if I don't warm up my voice. That doesn't make, I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, Brendan Yuri. Yeah, Panic at the Disco, huh? Uh, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Panic at the Disco, and Paramore were the bands that made me an emo. <laughs> Hell yeah, good old Panic at the Disco is a classic too. A classic. She had a sign around her neck there. Oh, I mean, I, I guess that would make sense if she like specifically was trying not to talk to like loudly in crowds to um, sh not strain her voice. That makes sense. But I'm sure she de definitely did vocal warm ups of sorts. Cause yeah, when I don't talk for a whole day and I try to talk, that shit like hurts. <laughs> that shit is so not the vibes. But yeah, that makes sense. Just a clever way of not talking to her fans. True. She's like, I'm just over it today. I'm just gonna make a sign. <laughs> Genius. What do I do to warm up my voice before singing? Uh, just like really basic vocal warm ups. I probably don't warm up my voice nearly enough as I should, and I I just hate doing vocal warm ups. So do a lot of <laughs> a lot of those. Yo, Killer! Thank you so much for the thousand bitty bits! I appreciate it! Thank you! Yeah, and then like, octave things. Yeah, I really hate <laughs> doing vocal warm-ups. I hate them so much. But sometimes people do like a lot of like pretty intensive vocal warm-up things. Like there's this person I know that has like a... Uh, they do like some... Like humidifier treatments. Like they use like steam. Or like they inhale like he like steam or whatever like you know those steam machine thingies, they do that. But I I just I don't, <laughs> and I know I should. Um, thank you, Martin. If we want to break it down fast, we can turn it all into moss blocks and insta mine it. True. Do, will we have enough bone meal for that? That's a lot. It's a pretty good idea though. Have all the moss we could ever want. You have moss and bone meal, pog pog. Enough for this whole circle though? That's a lot. Mess that one up by yo killer, thank you so much. Appreciate it. You could just start by mining the deep slate and try new things if it's too boring. 
Yeah, I think I was- we- who did we host the other day that was working on Deep Slate stuff? Shaws. I saw him mining the Deep Slate with a beacon and I was like, oh my god, this is actually so much slower than I thought it was. Especially compared to the insta mine, I was just like, oh no. That's gonna be rough. Keep bone meal for days. Okay, okay. If you say so. It's basically like mining this, right? Like, oh man. I have a mar mob farm with too many bones? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the bone meal would be. Oops. <laughs> Much better of a method, I guess. Squid game! <laughs> Hunt enough squids to collect a stack of ink sacks? Dang, look at you go with the achievies. He's at my black ink farm. Oh my god. Easy clap. Is easy to get these days? True that. Just hope we'll have enough for the entire dig is all, I guess. That's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be lots and lots of bone meal. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, we can get bone meal from moss that we mine? Uh, how, how so again? Copied the whole lineup, but it won't let me send in chat because it's over 500 letters. That's okay. It's all good. It's okay. My mob farm has almost a double chest full of bone blocks, so that alone would be... Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Bone blocks, damn. You can compost all of moss components. Oh. All right, cool. I mean, I'm sure like the iron farm probably has like a decent amount of stuff from the flowers there too. If we've been, I don't know if we've been keeping up with that or not. I haven't checked in a while. So I'm not so sure. Doo -doo. I fell on a drips thingy. Uh, to turn moss blocks, seeds, and stuff into bone meal. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks for the blessings. Um, composer to turn moss block. Oh, oops, I already read that. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. That's, that's a really good idea though, because I feel like it'll take so much longer. Like, we'll probably slow down very quickly. What are we gonna need then? Like, hose or something? Sabiq, thanks for the 200 bits. As a singer, do you think someone, uh, someone's bad voice can be improved? 1000%. Yes. Um, anyone can train their voice to improve. But that doesn't necessarily mean that like everyone can be like an amazing singer because i feel like a lot of the time like a lot of really great singers have just like a specific tone and i think tone is like just really important for people it's something i still work on but yeah people can definitely improve on all whatever it is that they want to improve on it goes for a lot of stuff Formerly unknown. Oh, there we go. Nice. Cool. The name change. Alert. We can't all be loonies? Listen, I, I'm not even, like, anywhere close to, like, some singers that I would I would love to... to be like. <laughs> so... I don't even... I don't know. <laughs> I don't even feel like I'm a good example. Yeah, no, of course. I just feel like everyone can... Like, anyone can... be good at things. But there are certain things where it's like... to be like... Like, if someone wants to be like a somebody, then that... 
takes more than just being good at something but that no one necessarily wants not everybody wants to be like somebody sometimes people just want to be good at singing that's totally cool that's totally cool i mean <laughs> i just appreciate that you guys think so <laughs> oh well let's just call it that yeah it's a muscle that you can train and improve Will always be up towards the top of my favorite songs to listen to. Aw, dude, I need to actually make some adjustments. I need to make adjustments to the Patreon so we can actually have that happen. Because that is definitely a cover I still want to do. I haven't forgotten about it. Good? Cool. A great, good way of putting it is that anyone can be taught to carry a tune. Yeah. Good night, Moon. Yo, thank you, Ando. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. Cool. I know! That song is so good. Such a good song. My voice has been out of tune since I hit puberty. <laughs> oh man. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. Good old puberty. But I'm tired of being a nobody. It's okay, you're somebody in our eyes. You're somebody in the Looniverse, and everyone in the Looniverse is a somebody. Oh, look at this guy with the dual wielding freaking... That's next level! Loot is out here with the dual wielding tools. God damn. That's impressive. Everybody is somebody. Sit F to swing at dirt. F? I'm not sure what that does. But I am okay. I got my method down, personally. F switches main to offhand? Oh. Couldn't you just like right click, left click? I think I have. I just... No? Oh, really? I mean, it's no different from me just pressing like three and two. Personally. Well, I guess not. Huh. Interesting. Hover over an item, push up to put it straight into your offhand. Well, that I do know. Right click, shovel, path block. Oh yeah, that's true. That is true. Oh well. Oh, the pick is going down. Okay, gotta keep an eye on it. Anyone know the band Bad Flower? Personally, haven't heard of it. I am unfamiliar. So chat, anything new happened in the last few days? I received a bunch of manga uh, yesterday. I got two new volumes of Berserk. <laughs> two new of the deluxe editions came in, God bless. Um, and I finally have the entirety of Blade of the Immortal. Poggy Pog. Had a successful PDR for the project I'm leading design for? Hell yeah. F is my sprint key? Hey man, I ain't judging. Whatever works. 
Solved the crazy coding problem. I found a new way to approach my graphics. Nice. Big productive days. Love to see it. Job chat. Fossil fuel. <laughs> Seen my leg bone for the first time today? That sounds concerning. I hope you're okay. <laughs> F for fast as fuck, boy! Yo, have a good night, Mark. Take care, dude. All right, I need to keep an eye on the pick real quick. Yeah, I got a ton of manga in the other day. I actually have, I'm like caught up with like Chainsaw Man volume. So I just, I just don't have the ninth one, which is like the most recent. So I could read Chainsaw Man now. Hey, who's shooting at me? Who did that? Who did that? Who? Who? Whomst? Whomst? What is this? Uh. Come, I saw a flaming arrow come from the top of the water fader. Who's shooting at me? Just trying to live my life. Legolas for sure. For sure. Just found out I sleep talk three days ago. <laughs> That's always a fun thing to find out. Love that for you. Oh man. My pick needs repairing. Off I go. I found out people are hating on streamers. Very annoying. Uh, nothing new. That is always happening. Uh, not not anything out of the ordinary. Yep, 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 yep. Die potato. What the hell is that? Okay. Squash and eat a potato. What the frick? When's the next Pokemon stream? Um. I don't know off the top of my head. But probably within the next week. What are these advancements? These advancements are all from like an advancement pack thing. I forget what they're called. You've unlocked the root of the nether tab. Okay. But yeah, it's like something that you can add on to, it's like an extra mod kind of thing. Blaze and Caves advancements pack, thank you. Ah, uh, wait. Recorded me fighting a scorpion. Nice! Look at all these achievements I'm getting. Oh my god. Goodness. What the hell? Uh. I feel like you reached the 300 mark? Oh yeah. I'm at 72 now, and didn't I start with like 30? Is that even possible? Want the Ancient Debbie achievement? I probably could get it if I wanted to. Um, I have like some at home. Or whatever. Uh, hello, bo 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 bo
think the most found one I found to date is throw an egg into a zombie. Onto a zombie? What the? That's really cute. That's pretty creative. I like it. I like it, I like it. Uh, Hello, Master Tony. You can follow if you want. I'm not gonna force you to do anything. Wait, why do I have these blocks in my inventory? Oh, I keep forgetting that I get items for the achievements. Weirds me out every single time. I'm like, what the heck is this? Is that actually an anime? It is. It's something like that. Something like that. There is a hidden achievement for looking at a gas through a spyglass. Like a, a normal advancement, right? Like, that's actually part of vanilla Minecraft. How do you remember specifically how it's spelt? Every time I'm just like, I don't know how many B's and O's there are. Yeah, normal one? Nice. Nice. Die, die. No reason. <laughs> oh, jeez. Of course. Man, I'm kind of annoyed because Steins Gate Zero was supposed to, or like the Barnes and Noble exclusive was supposed to release on the 18th. And they like seemingly still don't have it according to anyone's website and like their stock. I'm just like, well, what the hell is up with this now? Why did this happen for the complete edition? And this one too. I don't get it. What's happening? Why is this a thing? I just want to finish my my zero set. Oh yeah, wait, that reminds me, Sash, did you finish reading Steins Gate Zero or just up to what they had out? So now you were reading it and stuff. I forgot. I forgot. Just the first two. I haven't picked up number three yet. Yeah, I'm waiting for that to show up in Barnes. Should be any day now, but I don't know what's happening. They have the official deal to disappoint people? Seemingly. Gonna be annoying? Ugh, yeah. I, I noticed it and I was like, oh boy, this is gonna be a big one. It looks pretty annoying. Uh, I have- I've seen like- it, it's like where like this guy like works at like fast food, right? And he's like the devil. I have seen a few episodes of it, but only a few episodes. And it's been years since I've last seen it. But yeah. I thought it was pretty cute. That one's kind of like Slice of Lifey, isn't it? Or I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not even sure what the genre of that one would be. Hello, Booyan. Hi. Or bye, an ANR JD. I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk, silent. I think I chose a really good spot because there aren't any huge aquifers. I didn't check for aquifers, got lucky. Oh, phew. Not bad. Good job, Bello. I only watched two seasons. I think there's, uh, there's... Oh, you only watched season one. There's two now? Oh, cool. I feel like that one would be fun to watch again. I thought it was, like, really cute when I had first seen it. I was like, this is... I don't know what I'm watching, but this is kind of cute. <laughs> it's kind of cute. All right. I am, hello, I am watching you from Turkey and you are very good. Hello, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, could you use sponges? We've just been using uh, sand to get it all the way down because sponges, we'd have to dry it, bring it back, get the sponges in the first place, all of that good stuff. So we don't really have a whole lot of sponges. So yeah, we're just using sand for it, filling it up. Uh, 
Uh, have a great rest of the stream. Don't break any more picks. I will try my best not to. I can't make any promises, but we will try regardless. Uh, ooh. The empty shulkers. We are doing work work. How many people are mining right now? Look at us with the numbers. Dang. So next after Valo is Centurion and then Num so far. Crazy. Did you guys get all of those achievements? Like, like when you logged in, how does it know which ones to give you? Hello, Jake. I'm doing well. How are you? Season two of Devil is a part-timer starts this year in July. Oh, okay. Dang. When did the first season come out? Cause I feel like it's been a really long time. If it's logged to your account, it'll just give you the achieve. A lot of them are based off your stats. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm gonna take this and thank you. Season one was in 2013. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, what happens if I put these kind of like a soul sand in the thing. Is it gonna go anywhere? Wait. How come these are stone? <laughs> It'll come out at the unsorted. Hmm. What do the numbers represent? Uh, it's everyone's amount of achievements that they have. So I only have 73 achievements done because we added a achievement pack recently. Hi, Posh. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, I'll put this, I'll just, whatever. You should look at some of the dragon achievements. Oh my God. Yo, take care, Joey. Have yourself a good one, man. Catch you next time. Uh, how do you maneuver this? M mining? Oh man. Oh, there's all of these? Is it under end? Red redstone. Man. Okay, good thing there's only a few. Biomes. These are pretty cute. Super challenges? Super challenges. Oh, the end. Dragon? Collect a dragon's head from the bow of an end ship. Fly up beyond the world height limit. Fly up to a ridiculous height. Exhaust your elytra. Fill your inventory with full stacks of firework rockets. Oh my god. Are those the ones you're talking about? Free the end. Good luck. Look at the ender dragon through a spyglass. Attempt to block the dragon's attacks. Escape the island. Try super challenges? Super challenge. Where is that? Oh. Obtain a stack of- Okay, dude! Dang, there he goes, Savik with all of his achievements. Let's see, how many did Savik have? Logged in with 38. I feel like that's about how much I logged in with, you know? That's not the hardest? Dude, what the hell? A stack of ender dragon heads. Creeper heads? Chapel a million blocks away from spawn? Discover every biome in every dimension? Use the never, never to travel? 666... Strike every mob that can transform with lightning at once? What the hell? Uh, I have killed the dragon, but I didn't get the final... Uh... The final blow, I guess. Send every mob to the end and kill them all there. What? What the heck is this? Send every mob to the nether? Good god. Without touching the crown. Dragon versus dragon? Huh? <laughs> These are cute. Construct a village in the end and defend it from a raid? Oh my god. I didn't even know you could do that. That sounds crazy. Read that line? Which one? Seeing the stream low-key makes me want to play Minecraft again. It's always a good time. Real, read the whole second to last line of which one?
Without touching the ground? Read the whole, the third one? Defeat the wither while wearing a dragon head without touching the ground? Oh my god. Summon the ender dragon with the wither and a raid within 30 seconds of each other, then defeat all of them without taking damage. Three times? And what the heck is this? Uh, I don't even want to read all this. I'm not reading that. Want to do that as a community? We could. Sounds crazy, but we could. The riddle one looks crazy. Pig, villager, mushroom, and creeper transform with lightning. Any others? I have absolutely no idea. Do, 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 do. Dragon fight was nothing compared to this? Jesus, dude. That is absolutely insane. Ooh. That's crazy. I ain't done none of that, I know, right? Those are crazy. The fourth one is easy as a community? Yes, yeah, should be, right? But then how does it work if, uh, if one person takes damage, then that person wouldn't get the achievement, right? Half, half? The fly to a ridic ridiculous height is to get to Y10,000? Is that even possible? I mean, I, I would assume- I don't even know. Yeah, is that even possible? It is? Since when? One K? I'm not doing it, but it is. There's one for 10K. Dude, what the hell? That's too much. That is simply too much. Way too much. That's for 1K? Okay. Jesus, dude. It's pretty crazy. Nah, it's fun. 10k though? Falling for an hour? Oh my goodness. Then you get tired of like watching yourself fall, you go do something, you come back and then you splat. Hi Lockbatch! We are mining as per usual. We've been working on this uh, digging project for some time now. It's for a massive creeper farm. And it's honestly, I just really like chilling and doing this. Hanging out. I do have my monument build, which I haven't gotten back to in a bit because we started this and I kind of feel bad about that. But we can get back to that one of these days when I don't feel like digging, which is hard. I don't know. I just really like doing this. It's so enjoyable to me. Uh, over one whole inventory of rockets. Well, how do you get more inventory of rockets if that's the case. How does that work? You know? Like, how do you stop and get more rockets? I know, right? It's so satisfying. It's so good. So good. Uh, place this down there. I don't remember, but there's a trick? What? Is it just the one does the actual summoning that can get the achievements only if they do the final killing blows? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Need some help exposing all this. Quite a lot, hey. If you want to, sure. Uh, is it? Do you have to like go downward and stuff for this? Is 
this is all like down here and stuff so i'm not sure what the best way to do this would be but i'm just here to help <laughs> mm. dang this is pretty crazy houston we have a problem oh lackle did it he's doing it Uh, filling in the caves of water was a lot of work. Yeah. Okay. Scent also got sky high. Nice. <laughs> you know. Ridiculous height. Dang. Crazy. Y'all are crazy. Okay, so this is the next layer, I guess. Three. Do, 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 do. Okay. Maybe I'll just delete this from the existence of the world. You got pasta, bruh. I'm so hungry. I was like real hungry before stream and I tried to eat a few snacks. I feel like I'm still so incredibly hungry. I'm hungry. My stomach is wanting some food. Do, 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 do. Brought some for all the chat, so dig in. Oh, don't even say that. That sounds amazing. <laughs> that sounds so good. Woo. Wait, are we going by two? I will go this way. So you take a couple of shulkers of, of gapples and f a few elytras and just float around in the void for 20 minutes. How does that work? Excuse me, sir. How does floating around do anything? of shulkers of gapples like as if there's an achieve survive the void for one minecraft day night cycle dude what the hell is that <sighs> there's no way a full shulker box of gapples there's no way there's no way <laughs> Thanks for the digital pasta, dude. I could definitely go for some digital pasta right now. Oh, it sounds so good. It's Minecraft. There's always a way. Dude, how do you find that many? Are you talking about golden apples or god apples? Because you're talking about god apples, right? Making a burrito today. Oh, golden apples. Oh my god. I thought you were talking about like the god ones. Sorry. Okay. What is a god apple? It's like the the ones that you find in like temples and stuff. What did Eno just get? Uh Eno got wait, what is that? Oh my god, he did it! How? How did you do that? Pog! Yeah, enchanted golden apple. Holy crap. Holy moly. The flex. Two point five sacks of flight one rockets. Oh, that's not bad, really. The heck? Fallow's over here making it sound like we need to like somehow open up our shulker boxes while we're flying. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what? 
Said it's easy? What the hell? Am I think? I was thinking of the void achievement. Oh, uh, man, I was so confused. I was like, "What do you mean?" How do you even get that achievement? Uh, so we added this thing on our server where it gives you like customized achievements or like a, a new set of achievements basically. Um, it's like a mod called some <laughs> caves and some. I tried the below water one for one Minecraft day yesterday. It gets so long. Oh my god. I feel like you just have to s caves and cliffs, right? Or I don't know. Can you just do slow fall potions and rockets to mean altitude in the void for a while? Yeah, how do you know? How do you do that without dying? Like, I guess you constantly have to be checking your Y levels so that you don't fall into it. Blaze and caves, that's what it is. I was like, it's something. <laughs> oh, Lackle got it too, nice. And it looks so crazy when it's red. Hello, Moss Boy. Touch me. Go away. Ah. Leave me alone. No. Please. No. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Little baby slime. I'm out of from saying the short version version of Gratz. I, I I don't know. I'm too afraid to ask what things mean now. <laughs> Automod knows best. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> uh, what the heck was that quick double jump, dude? That was crazy. There's some crazy ones like spawn, dragon, wither, and raid 30 seconds apart. Yeah. We were just looking over that one. It's pretty crazy. Pretty intense. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was just Valo. Maybe Automod just doesn't like Valo for some reason. He's like, you know what? I'm choosing violence against you today. <laughs> like, okay, jeez. Oh, Ando too? Oh, I guess it's just both of you then. I don't know. Valo is talking, <laughs> no. <laughs> we must put an end to this. I feel like we were getting some solid work done today. I feel like we've been trying to get this side roughly about the same um, depth as the other side. Yeah, we've been doing pretty well. Uh, is there a guest book yet? No, there isn't. I keep thinking to do when I, I always forget. I'm too, and then I get too caught up in digging and then I forget that I want to do other things. And I'm like, why do other things when I could be digging? 
so that I never get anything done. I'm just like, but, but must dig. Must keep digging. Can't stop. <laughs> Hello, alts. Alts. Baka. Hello. <laughs> I you know. Oh, jeez. I like how you guys were like just loony. No, no, loony. Don't ask. No. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I take it back. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Rewind. I don't need to know. When did we, uh, this is not a hardcore world. This is a, uh, private server with the subs. Private sub server. Non-hardcore world. Just plain Jane world. Normie world. Need to go to bed, I had someone. I hope somebody moved that box of subs. I keep tripping over them. <laughs> oh, low par. Oh no, not the box of subs. <laughs> I hope you have a good night, Lopar. Aw, oh, there it is. He, he tripped into it once again. Dang it. Someone really needs to look out for that box of subs. It got spilt over again. Lopar, thank you so much, dude. I hope you have yourself a great night. Watch out for those boxes of subs. Those pesky boxes. They have a mind of their own sometimes. <laughs> oh, Lopar, you're so clumsy. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm starting to suspect Miriam leaves it out there on purpose. Oh no, chat, he's on to me. He's on to me! I thought I was being sleek. Sash also tripping over the gifted box of subs. <laughs> the gifted box of subs. Thank you, Sash. And there I go. Oh, you guys really need to watch your step, man. Someone's gonna get hurt one of these days. <laughs> watch out, gifted subs. Y'all need to move out of the way sometimes. <laughs> Thanks, Sash. Oh yes, the pick. We're getting low. Getting there. Ando uh, also tripping over the box of subs. Jeez. Am I gonna have to be the one to move this thing? This thing's- you guys. I can't let any everyone keep tripping on this. You gotta be careful out there. <laughs> Jeez, Sash, don't kick it in my way. You guys are so cute. Thanks, Ando. <laughs> I appreciate it very much. Ludus just happened to trip over it too? Oh my goodness. Dude, this box. Kick it over my way. I'll, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> oh, look, a scam train coming up. Dang. It's, just, it, the, it's the scam train that's putting it there. The scam train just wants to show itself. Thanks, guys. <laughs> The pick? Yes. Now I need to switch it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah. Ayo, Jester! Thank you for starting that lovely train. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> have I done the Beaconator advancement? Uh, I don't think I have. I know we have a bunch of beacons, but I don't think I've placed any personally. Even though I have some materials to make one just haven't i've just been building and digging on this server honestly I haven't done a whole lot of other advancements oh luciano also tripping over those gifted sub boxes oh god a pesky box thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank you jester once again who else is tripping? We all tripping, y'all. We trippin' trippin'. 
We build our trap house yet? Uh, yeah. This is this is gonna be it. This is this is it. This is work in progress, man. Ida, <laughs> thank you for tripping on the sub box. I appreciate it. <laughs> Where is the neighborhood Spider-Man to pick up the box? I know. Who will be our unsung hero? I need you right now. <laughs> Thanks, you know. We all tripping. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh. There is a spawner here randomly. The heck? Uh, what do we do with these? I don't have a torch for it. Is, is it gonna spawn things if we don't put a torch on it? Uh, Curtender paying for the gifted sub that they got from a low par. Thank you so much. If you guys got any, oh, just break it. Okay. If any of you guys got any lovely gifted subs from any of these amazing people that just happened to trip over this gifted sub box or this box of subs, make sure you give them a lovely thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I think. Normally not in the day. Okay, we'll just we'll just break them. Ooh, name tags. Ooh, multiple name tags. Hell yeah. We got protection one. How exciting. Alright. Should I just put all of these things in the what's it called or no? Uh in the sorter or no? I could put them elsewhere, I'm just not sure what the best thing to do would be. Do, do, do. Hey yo, Dr. Will! Thank you so much for the five gifted subs as well. I mean for tripping over those those the box of gifted subs. Thank you so much. What's up, noob? Good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Dr. Will. Wow, level five complete! Let's go! Thank you for completing the scam train. Wow, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day to get scammed. <laughs> I know, shit, I need to get to bed before I start tripping. Oof. Oh, hey. The ladder. It's been... Haven't got a chance to update the ladder yet. Valo, thank you. Who left these bits here? Man, now, now it's on to bits? We're tripping over some bits too? Jeez. Thank you, Valo, for finding those bits. Thank goodness. Because otherwise, someone else might trip over some bits. Phew. Uh. <laughs> a bit bucket as well. Uh, tripped on the bits. Oh, God. Tripping on bits, tripping on subs. What is happening? <laughs> I think we all need some glasses. Oh no. I've never bought bits before. It all depends on what people prefer. Oh my god! Luciana with the 16? You found a box of 16 subs to trip on? Oh my god, dude. Thank you so much, Luciano! Oh my goodness. Do we sub our toes instead of ha? <laughs> that could very well be exactly what happens. 276%? Jesus, dude. Thank you guys! What? Sheesh! Oh, man, all that tripping. Ah! We truly do be tripping. One bit is basically one cent US IRL money. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you guys. What did I get? Let's see. Hype cry. Aww. Why am I so sad? That is a sad emote. I'm a sad lion. Just sad. Aw, oh, hype, aw, oh, hype. Thank you guys so much. 
for recovering and subbing, s stubbing your toes on on the tripped over subs. I appreciate it, guys. Oh, you're down to level three emotes. Are you serious? Holy moly. That is intense, Ando. It's playing Pokemon with the emotes. Oh, speaking of Pokemon, Arceus, it's coming soon, guys. It's coming soon. I'm excited. But then also, am I gonna be able to mine still? Kinda wanna make some time to be able to do both. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe the first few streams will be like Arceus only streams. I never know if I should say Arceus or Arceus. I kind of found myself like alternating between the two. You got the conductor? Nice. Nice. Oh yeah. Maybe I should fit this in. There we go. We have ourselves another little aquifer over here kind of maybe just a little i don't know a little pond thing we are lego tove we certainly are we're going all the way down to negative 59 we're currently on 17 wow not bad but we also have like other stuff that's much higher up there so Oh boy, 17 actually, not bad at all. I know it does, yeah. It sure does. If we were doing this before, um, if we were working on this before the update, would we have gone, would we have had to go down to zero? I kind of forget. Or no, cause it went into the negatives, it just, or I've forgotten already. About f five? Oh, really? Because when we mined for diamonds, it was on level... Ele I honestly can't remember for some reason. Why am I not able to remember this? Was it 16? A little slice I was working on started at something like 16 or 20 and is down to eight. Ooh. Is that the lowest we have? 8 to 15? Okay. For some reason, my brain is thinking that we were in the negatives. Or we could go down to the negatives. Man! So they added... 13 to 9? Okay. Sash dug... Oh yeah! I mean, actually, we have it all the way down to the bottom. Technically. I forgot we have the, the deep slate tunnel. Um, man, so they added the entire- I can't believe that, that's so crazy. That they straight up added all the way down to negative 60 or whatever it is from nothing before. That's insane. Yeah, it goes down even further than negative 50. I'm not sure what the max is. Like, I swear it's 60 something. We talk about this every time. I swear. Every stream. And I'm always like, what? I've memorized some numbers, but I can't remember. I can't remember all of them. 64? Damn. Or is it 65? I think Jam or someone died near my place. I loaded in and there were random items in front of me. Oh no. You should probably save them. Put them in a chest or something. Hello, Boggle. Yeah, everything is going great. I hope you're doing well too. Yeah, they did add upwards as well. So everything is just crazy. Bedrock is negative 60 to 64. Jeez. About that, uh, is it all gone? I mean, I guess, you, I mean. It goes up to 200 now, Jesus. So much stone. 320? Oh my god. 
where you jump from the top of the world to the bottom. <laughs> That'd be pretty intense. All right, guys, heading up to Y10,000. See you on the other side. See ya. Have fun. Fly safely. Have a safe flight. Oh, there's sky high. So that's beyond the world height limit. Mountains are capped at 265 though, I think. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It can be hard to keep track of whose stuff is whose if you don't prepare before picking up someone's stuff. Yeah, that is super true. I hate when that happens. Nice, Bala. Negative 64 to 320. Jeez. So there's an achievement to go from 320 all the way down to six, negative 64. Sheesh. What's up, Rebel Artist? The dig is going really great. We've progressed a lot over our week and a half. We've been doing great. I can't believe it's only been a week of this. Like a week and a half of this. You can't die at the bottom, yeah. Damn. Just gotta fall safely into... Have a nice little water safety net at the bottom. Does anyone use the ladders? I'm not sure if I should update the ladders or not. get it? Escape the island. What the heck? Uh, eat. Eat, eat, eat. Something really relaxing about it? That's what I'm saying, you know? Oh, you're in the end. I thought you were gonna get the thing. Oh, you're at 4k. <laughs> He's on his way. Still working on it. <laughs> Ladders are there, just there <laughs> for OSHA compliance. Yeah, I'm not sure if anyone actually uses the ladders or not, but I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to do it just, just to make sure. Just for accessibility, in case anyone requires. Filled in the aquifer, but there's small pockets we need to take out when we get to them. That's okay. Thanks, Sendian. I touched the ladder. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. Use ladders all the time. I just wasn't sure if anyone like were, was using this one to go down. But I'll fix it up. The only problem is someone got rid of the water, so I don't have the water to. Actually, no, we have some water spots around here. I just pick up. All right. I'm just not sure if it's worth like updating though because we keep mining out this area anyway, so I don't know. Why do blazes have to be so difficult to find? They do be like that sometimes. Eat. Nom nom nom. I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. Hey yo, Verify Brady, thanks for the 500 bits. Thanks for the positive vibes to start my mornings off lately. Of course, are you kidding me? Thank you so much for being here and being a part of it. I appreciate that. Thanks. 
Yeah, we're, today is a pretty chill day. Very, very chill day. Uh, for you, my sweet. Any, any tips on how I can spawn bees nests? I don't seem to get, be getting any spawning. Uh, I usually just go out and look for them because it's so much easier than trying to get one to spawn. Because I think if you try to spawn one, it has to like be close to a flower and there's like a X percentage, like a very low percentage chance for it to spawn. But I would honestly try to look for one, but if you don't have a choice to, then if you're limited to your options, then you kind of got to do what you got to do. But other than just like the flower and like the percentage of it, that's all I know. Grow birch and have a flower within two blocks. Yeah. Birch and oak trees. Mm hmm. I planted 200 birch saplings with a poppy in two blocks. Oh man. Yeah, that's like about the only thing that you yeah. I know I read 5% too, but it just takes forever. You don't have any um, oak trees or birch forests that you can try to look through nearby? That sucks. I hate having to do that. Some biomes won't allow bees to spawn as well. Really? Ugh. That makes it even more complicated. You're in a forest biome? Does it have to be a plains biome? I can never remember. Does chat know if you need to be in plains or can, what's it called, work forest? We've been pretty, okay, I'm gonna jinx myself, but we've been pretty good about keeping an eye on our pickaxes lately. I gotta say, we're not doing too bad. Gotta say. Okay. Uh, Savik, thank you for the tier two, three months. Keep up the great streams. I can't wait to see how the time, or how the time lapse turns out. Yeah, the time lapse is gonna be like, uh, the time lapses are gonna be in like little sections because I'm not gonna have one time lapse for the entire thing, unfortunately. But yeah, there's just gonna be like little sections here and there. It's supposed to be one in 20 trees grown, but it feels like one in 50. I just found your channel on my recommended on Twitch and I already love being here. Oh, thank you, Lego. It's good to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Rut row. We have no more shulkers, but that's okay. Uh, you got the thing? You did? Ah, where? Oh, right here. Nice. Way to go, Valo. The super challenge. Congrats. Uh, can I post a link in chat? Yeah, of course. All subs can post links. So you don't need to be permitted. Yay! Only needs one flower within two boxes on the same Y level as a sapling. Yeah, I always try to look for them because I feel like I find or I get better luck getting or looking for them. But if you don't have one nearby, you don't have many options. That's the bees and beehive guide. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, other than that, I'm not sure if there's anything else that, that is missing. If I ever get Minecraft and VR come back to this hole, the scale will be overwhelming. <gasps> oh my god, imagine. That would probably look insane. Like, absolutely insane. <laughs> I'd feel so small. Especially with all, like, the design work that we would be getting happening in here and everything, too. <gasps> it would look so cool. Having the water refresh thing bugging out. Hello, Yasin. Gives percentages and all kinds of extra info I can't type here. Oh, nice. 
No, you're doing great, Lego. You're doing absolutely great. I wouldn't have even noticed. Wouldn't have even noticed. Uh, look at the one I just got. This one? Travel at least 10,000 blocks from the center of the world in any direction. The heck? From the center of the world. What does that even mean? And above. Travel far into the end dimension? The hell? Hi, Boobex. Hi. Oh, from zero. Oh. From zero, zero? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Cool. The interstellar reference. A journey that long begins with a single step. Pretty cool. I'm really bad at references, though. I, w I didn't even realize. Just not your reference kind of gal. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I always am letting people down when not getting references. Please forgive me. The garbage will do? What is that one? Craft a composter using wooden slabs and place it. Oh, easy peasy. Very true. <laughs> oh, you're at negative 10,000 in the end? Gosh. Why'd you choose to do it in the end? Is there a benefit to that? also get the achieve oh you're oh god dude that's scary i'd be very afraid floating in the end is just like oh i can't so scary i'm dark and alone and just alone with my thoughts and i can't to get the 10k blocks in the end nice nice There are planes in the end? What does that even mean? Planes. To be fair, when I typed horde instead of hard and you pronounce it correctly, I knew I was home. <laughs> oh, man. It's the little things, you know? It's the little things. Bless. How much more is left to dig out? Well, we are on, on Y17 on this side of the map or whatever. Which is almost leveled out with this. Why is there... Ah, wait. <laughs> Random... Uh, what's that called? We have these just chilling here too. This is... Oh, we're getting close to the deep slate here now on this side. <gasps> and then like this is like the biggest chunk of stuff that just hasn't been dug down as much. Oh, Nubs is working on this area. Nice. Ah. But yeah, we've gotten a decent amount done over here today. So that's really great. Very cool. Very nice. I know, unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So lots of really great stuff today. But yeah, we have to go all the way down, so... Definitely think moss will be the way to go once we get to the lower stuff. I did throw my pickaxe. I didn't mean to. I like panic, tried to switch to like my axe and then I clicked like Q or something. Just... Just... Tossed it. Um... Almost deep enough to have the first flower completely visible. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. So Ando, 
I would love to help working on like the material gathering for that. What's the best way to get the materials for the flowers? You guys should start building material shop, sell the blocks as a premium. For these? Did do or did you play Terraria? I haven't. What flowers? The design on the walls. We're gonna be doing a floral design on the walls for this build and it's gonna look sick. It's gonna be crazy and super extra, but it's gonna look super dope. Yeah, it's gonna be a free uh, a creeper farm. Creeper farm. <laughs> Needs red, yellow, white, and orange terracotta. Oh my god. Maybe one uh, stream we should work on gathering resources for that. It'd be pretty good, I think. Haste one beacon at the mesa. We can dye all the terracotta colors now. Oh, nice. Sweet. That'd be pretty helpful in this endeavor. And then we could just put like the materials for it at, up there, probably. Oh. <laughs> As opposed to Creepy Farm. Yes, precisely. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played Terraria though. I, I have it, I think I own it, but I've never played it. Oh, Lotus is here. Hello. Nice. Another layer done. Wow, wow, wow. What is this? Go 30 days without sleep? Oh my god. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Okay. Seriously? Um. Okay, okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is definitely- Oh, look at that one diamond over there. This is a sash dig for sure. For sure, Zs. <laughs> Yo, good night, Eno. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have yourself a great day tomorrow. Um, I kind of wanted to... Oh, okay, wait. I kind of want to get rid of this stuff. Like the wood and stuff. Kinda wanna do that. <laughs> uh, looks like you guys need a free hand to move things faster. I mean, we are we are doing our best. We are doing what we can. Do we want to keep those? I. I think we need what? What do we need? A hoe? For this? Is that it? Oh. Or shears? Sword? Oh. Wow. Master Farmer. Pog. Ah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, I got diamonds for it! The hell? Look at that. I got some freaking diamonds. I don't know if we were keeping these here for a reason. Oh, shears if you want the actual item. True. That could be kind of nice. Maybe we get some, maybe we keep it. Please tell me I have. Oh no, since when do I not bring shears with me? What? Since when? Do I have them in here? What? I can't believe myself right now. Am I for real? What? What? Wow. Okay, well, I guess I don't have an option. I don't even have a choice. How awful. Just smelt some? Smelt what? I'm too lazy to get iron into it right now. 
I didn't, I, for some reason I don't have iron ingots on me either. What the heck is up with that? I don't even know. Ah. How embarrassing, honestly. Uh, I left some iron at the auto storage behind me. Uh, the black one? Oh. An airdrop of iron? I... I think I'm okay. I'm gonna steal something. Over here? Uh, that was behind the beds. Oh. Okay. Thank you! Here. <laughs> All right, magnificent. There's a pink bed here and I don't know whose it is. I'm tearing this down. Nice. Take some uh, for your shulkers. Oh, I probably should have. Huh? so far. Oh my gosh. Just trying to keep these materials. This was a mistake. <laughs> you can use the sword on the cobwebs too. Yeah, but I want to keep uh, this. The cobwebs. I want to keep them in full form. For potential builds in the future if anyone would like. Because <laughs> I feel like these are kind of hard to come by, you know? Consta... Constadina. Good morning, Mafe. Mm -mm. Do I have a non-silk touch pickaxe? Because there is iron right there in front of you. Uh, I would have had to have smelted it to... Unforge. Mm -mm. Yeah, these are rare commodities, guys. A rare precious resource. If you want to call it that. There's an achievement for repairing a hurt uh, iron golem. Just right click it with an ingot. Oh, nice. If you need a big auto smelter for a big project, my auto smelter is up and functional. Uh, I'm not sure if we need to anymore. We were going to need it for like all the terracotta, but I think because we can. Um, we can dye the colors of all of them. I don't know if we need them anymore. Uh, confirming with members of chat if we need that for the flowers. Does the creeper come out at night on Minecraft? Yes, it creeps around. Creepers be creeping. Uh, what about flowers wasn't listening? So if we wanted all the terracotta for this, do we still need a massive auto smelter or are we actually okay now that we can dye them or whatever? Uh, for someone who uh, never played Minecraft, can you explain why you farm this and what the point is? Is it stored on the server or the account? Um, uh, is it stored on the server or the account? What is exactly? Um, if you're asking like why we do the, are you talking about the whole or are you talking about these items? I'm getting well actually. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> what is happening? Uh, items? Uh, it stays on your account. Yeah. So I'm taking these out just because we're clearing out the area. But, um... Oh, yeah, sorry. It stays on the server on this account. So because it's like, if I were to play my own personal world, I wouldn't have these, um, these items. But, like, 
Yeah, cobbles are from abandoned. Oh, abandoned villages too. Uh, oh my god. Oh, well, actually. But yeah, so if I were to log out of this and I were to go on my solo world, I wouldn't have the items I had in my chat, in my inventory. Or from one server to another. Good explanations, chat. You guys are better than I am. <laughs> Tearing all this down. Ah! <laughs> Didn't know this was here. Creepy cave. Wee. Uh, do I want to tear all this down? I guess. Sure. Why not? Nice. I cut my pyramid off, by the way. Ah, ah. <laughs> I see, I see. Nice. Get a free elytra for flying up 1k blocks? What? Man, that's crazy. Kinda OP. I don't know if we care to keep all these, to be honest. Man, that's kinda nuts. With unbreaking three? Dang. That is fancy. It is a long way to bedrock indeed, but we are here for the journey. We are here for it. Oop. I think it was just under a stack. Okay, well, that's good. It's not bad. At all. <laughs> Enchanted with Unbreaking 3 already, that's so good. How'd you make that big hole? Well, we made an outline, and by we I mean one of the subs did, Fallow, made an outline of the circle, and then we started digging. So that's what we've been up to for the past bit. Uh, please tell me why that value is 14 and not 140. Uh, because it's we're not at like the Y level 140. It's just 14.0, I guess. Because 140 would be a whole other area. It would be much higher. Nice. Try to take out all the oak. Yeah, 14.0. Uh, for one of the long distance flying ones, you get an elytra with mending and unbreaking three. Dang, dude. Okay. This is no longer gonna be here. Say goodbye. Oh, uh, what? That wood goes so far down. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a pretty small number. Can you use TNT to move faster? Uh, the TNT, like, while it might get rid of a lot of stuff, it just makes for a really messy experience to remove stuff, because, like, there's gonna be water that we'll run into. There's gonna we're gonna have to clear it all up and stuff like that. It requires a lot of resources. 
which we it's mostly like the messiness that we don't want to deal with so yeah it looks like 140 Oh, you're, are you asking about a different question that I don't really know the answer to that Valo probably answered? My bad. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, why farm this? Are you gonna build something later? Oh, yes. Yeah, so we're making this entire hole because we want to make a massive creeper farm. Um, and what that is is basically just like a farm to give a bunch of resources because we're playing on a server. And so we don't have to worry about having to go out and acquire all the resources. I mean, it's like, it's a pretty overkill farm, but it's mostly for for fun and the challenge, basically. Why do you always play on vanilla servers instead of modded ones where you can automate all of this? Because it's, I, I don't think automating things is fun. <laughs> I like the challenge of vanilla and that you have to work with what vanilla Minecraft gives you. I'm just not a modded kind of person, personally. Do the map reset sometimes? Uh, only if you like do it manually yourself and like you choose to reset it but otherwise no otherwise nope like the moderators or admins of the server could technically reset areas but nah <laughs> A good start. Chop down enough trees to collect a full stack of one log type. <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank you. Modded can be fun, but vanilla is so much better these days, IMO. I love the challenge and purity of vanilla. Yeah, I just like the challenge, really. I just like like the the whole working with what Minecraft gives you and only having those tools available to you to make really cool things. So I think like having a project like this is just kind of like a nice community project that is a long-term project that gets people to keep playing, you know, to come back. Because otherwise sometimes people kind of get bored if there isn't like a project to work on or not something to look forward to. So this kind of just gives us all a fun thing to do as a community or whatever. It's pretty chill. Can someone just remove part of the map and just destroy it? Uh, I mean, there's like items like TNT in the game, if that's what you're asking, and TNT just like blows everything up. I try to encourage people to build big, go overboard with ideas, and just do one thing at a time. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm a big fan. I don't know. I'm just a vanilla Minecraft enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of ways that you could destroy an area or whatever. Do, 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 do. I missed... jumped. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Minecraft is basically how- Wow, that's a really crazy and stupid build idea. So when are we gonna do it? Yeah. It's just like a sandbox game, you know? You can- You can quite literally do anything you want in Minecraft. Like, there's all kinds of ways to do anything that you would ever want. If you can think it, you probably can do it. Especially with redstone being a thing and everything like that, so. Endless possibilities! And of course, stuff like modded can make things easier, but what's the fun in doing things easier when you can do things the hard way? <laughs> and the way that it takes forever to do. No matter what you tell people you're building, someone's always gonna be like, yo, sounds dope. I know, right? What you doing in Minecraft? Digging a really big ass hole. Yo, that's dope. <laughs> nice. All right, I got rid of all the mine shaft stuff. Nice, Centurion! Nice! All 
All right. Coolio. Diggy, diggy hole. <laughs> diggy, diggy hole. Uh, IMHO modded doesn't make it easier. It just depends on what target you set. True. I mean, things like... Like, if we were to dig this hole in modded, where there's, like, you know... I don't really know much about modded stuff, but... Like, if there was something like those things where you can dig in, like, a 3 by 3 or whatever... That's kind of what I mean, I guess. This is why Looney mocks you, Valo, because of that comment you made in chat? Wait, what? What did he say? Oh, I love building a big asshole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dang, look at this. Much progression. Pretty good. Uh... You get to bedrock faster? I mean, sure, but then we're gonna have like a lot of like floating blocks all over the place. We're gonna have water just like, just spewing out of everywhere. And then you have to clear all of that up and it makes it really tedious and really hard to clean up or whatever. What's wrong with floating blocks? All right, well, someone ha can have fun uh, spawn-proofing all those individual floating blocks, I guess. Uh, sounds like the biggest pain. All right. Yeah, honestly, a lot of this is just for fun. That's it. Because we can. <laughs> Don't y'all like floating trees? I will fight you over those floating trees, I swear to god. <laughs> oh my god, run around with a couple stacks of scaffolding. We're just gonna float around and fly around and insta mine the random floating blocks. But it's mostly like the water and stuff that gets really, really annoying to have to clear out. Like there's that that is just awful. More upgraded tools. Nice. Uh hello imperfect little bear. Welcome! Welcome, welcome. We are just digging away at the creeper farm. The creeper hole. Gonna get to TwitchCon and Looney's just gonna choke me out. Just see you shake my head. God damn it, this guy is freaking floating trees all over the place. <laughs> oh, what is that, a floating tree? Wonder who's responsible for this one. Uh. Alright, well, I don't know how many times I explain why we're not using TNT, but sure. Love when people listen. My favorite. I intentionally grew some floating trees on my land and central tore them down. I know. I know. Uh, he's like, what the hell is this? And he's just, get this out of here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh man, that's not gonna be enough. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, my inventory is like all full of the wood still. Go, go, go. 
See, like water like this, you just have to gotta deal with, and it's annoying. If it's if it's TNT, it's just gonna float there, and then the only way to get rid of it is if you have to bridge all the way to it. It just sucks. Oh no! I was digging in three because I thought that that's what we were doing. Crap. <laughs> well, disregard. Achieve what? Exhaust your elytra. Wow. Wow. Are there no sponges available? I mean, sponges are, exist, but then we have to go farm for them, and then we have to dry them out. Sand is just much faster, because we already have a bunch of sand, we just have to plop it down and clear it later. It's just... Trust. There, there's a reason why we're doing what we're doing. <laughs> If we were gonna use TNT, or whatever else that we were gonna use, we probably would've used it already. Drying is fast, sure, but also that sand didn't take very long. Oh, what the heck? Wait, I'm so confused. Happening here. Uh, yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, there's like that little, like, <laughs> that little hi hat sounding thing, and I thought it was my freaking pickaxe breaking. I was like, did I seriously just. I was telling myself I've been keeping a good eye on this, you know? power of friendship is strong enough to do this. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The power of friendship will get us through, chat. We can do this. We will prevail. Oh, hello to your sister. Hi, Vans Ryan. What's up? Dude, I know. Chat just wants to see explosions. I get it. I understand. But also, this is just much, much more enjoyable than TNT, you know? This is just nicer. Uh, where's my food? I am starving. <laughs> A five minute delay? Oh my gosh. That's crazy, dude. Low. Uh, I don't think we want that on live. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Especially on a server. It's fine if like you want to lag out your own personal world, like how G dropped all of those anvils and stuff, and he had literal PowerPoint stream. <laughs> but you know, I'm negative eighty four. How? Uh, how low can you go? I said, how low can you go? We, I don't know how far we'll, or how much we'll do today. Probably just this layer, to be honest. Ah, okay. That is as low as we go. Hmm. <laughs> stuff? No? Okay. Uh, oop. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Doo -doo. You guys just stripping out a large section? Yeah, everything in this, uh, everything in this circle, in this entire circle, we're, we're digging out. And it'll all be for a massive creeper farm. We're gonna dig it all the way down, and then we'll spawn proof it, and then we'll build the creeper farm part which will consist of a lot of nether portals 
and cats. And the cats will scare the creepers into going into the nether portals. And then all the cats will be pushed into the nether. I mean, not the cats, sorry. <laughs> all the, what are they called? Creepers will be pushed into the nether where they die. And we'll get all the gunpowder we will ever need in our lives. And it'll be great. It'll be amazing. That's it. The poor cats, no, no, no. The cats will live, don't worry. The cats will be alive. Or they just have very important jobs to kill the creepers or to scare them off to the edge. That's it. <laughs> we could push the cats in, string farm. Oh no! Oh, dude. Oh. Would there be a way to have a cat farm like that? Does that even make any sense? Like if someone wanted a sick way of having a string farm, aside from spiders? Oh my gosh. Il Mango made it? Really? What in the world? I'm not considering it, I just am curious. That's all. I'm just asking the weird questions that we didn't need to know. That's all. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think you could do it with beds and villagers. Also, if you can think it, <laughs> Mango probably made it. That's so crazy to me. I don't know how people know how to make Minecraft things happen. <laughs> it's just so mind-boggling. Some people are just meant to make amazing things in Minecraft, you know? It's a lot of redstone. Oh, I believe it. I am not one of those people. It's just not... That life is not meant for me. Directed all the cats to a fireplace? For them to chill at, right? Yeah, for them to chill at, right? Certainly. For them to just hang out. <laughs> what is Podzel for and why does it cost three emeralds? It's for making your ground look like poop. At a high cost. High fashion poop ground. Or something. Another layer down! Woohoo! Man, look at that! We basically just leveled out this whole thing today. We did that. We leveled it all out, guys. Good stuff. Dang. It was like all the way up like here today. So that's huge progress. Well done. Well done, everyone! And we have some more people working on this area, too. Or this area over here. We got Nums over here. Mining away. Doo -doo -doo. Huge! We still have this fossil that we need to move over. <laughs> Dang it. Wow! Has anyone done the math on how much gunpowder this farm will make? Uh, whatever the... I'm sure if you were to look at the video of the one that we're working on, I'm sure it's there. Should I just put all these? I guess I'm doing that. Hopefully it's fine. No shulkers, though. No shulkers allowed here. Uh, at least three. We need a new sub goal. We blew out 20 out of the water. I know, that's insane. Thank you guys so much. I super duper appreciate it. You guys are absolutely amazing. 
Uh, oh, I guess these as well? Sure. Nice. Huge. Now we did so much today. Oh, look at these getting turned into diamond blocks. Sheesh. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, let me put these away. Mm -mm -mm. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Wish I had diamonds like that. I believe in you. How many layers left? So we are, this is going all the way down to negative 59. And today we ended at, well, this up here is still 36, but we brought this all the way down, which is pretty good, to 14. Not too bad. Not too bad. So all of this is the same level now. We just have this that's a little bit lower and this that's obviously much higher. So, and this that's even more up here. But yeah, lots and lots of awesome progress so far. It looks great. Um, don't you have to be nearby for them to spawn? Uh, for which? Looney missed it again? God damn it, I can't just keep an eye out. I, all of these, all I see is an achievement, an achievement, an achievement. I can't keep track of it, but congratulations. You did it. Uh, at least you won't have a cobblestone issue for a while. Very true, very, very true. We'll have all kinds of stuff over here. <laughs> we have an endless amount of, oops. Oh. Oh, is this all the overflow stuff? Interesting. Uh huh. I'm so confused by some of these. But yeah, look at all the, let's see, stone. Oh my god! <gasps> these are all the shulker boxes for stone, dude. Holy moly. This is all the stone that we've mined, uh, y'all. Holy crap. That's insane. That's actually insane. Ima I know, imagine if we didn't have a shulker farm. Dude. I had to put extra chests below for stone. Oh my god, I know. Your secret AFK spot. Cute. <laughs> I know. Yeah, there were members of the server that worked on making a shulker farm, and it is crazy. Like, it is probably the most insane, like, time-consuming and patient-requiring thing I've ever seen in my life. It was crazy, crazy. So, thankfully, there were people that were patient enough and insane enough to work on it. Centurion, Valo, and Crow worked on it. Yeah, it was actually nuts. Actually nuts. Hi, island boy. They're pretty much less than a hundredth of the effort you're putting in for this farm, though. Yeah, and so what? What's what's the problem? I don't see... I don't know, guys. I don't see what the problem is. I don't see a single problem with us digging a hole. Did I read the achieve... God damn it, fellow! Where? This one? No, don't leave Murph. I don't get references. I don't know who Murph is. Is this Back to the Future or something? Read the text. Travel so far into the end dimension you might as well be on another planet. Oh, interstellar. See, I forget. I don't, it's been like 10 years since I've last seen Inter Interstellar. I don't know. I, I don't get references. I forget about people that exist. I can't. The boy. I s if you're gonna be like this with every single fucking achievement, I swear to God, a hundred kilometers. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. 
literally don't know. Oh, uh, I need to re-watch Interstellar. Looney, read the achievement! I'm a Nazi! Oi, oi, oi! <laughs> oh, God. It's a 2014 film? Okay, close enough. Close enough. <laughs> I actually do need to re-watch Interstellar, though. It's been so long. It's been 10 years since I've last seen it. <laughs> uh, Vanilla Minecraft is full of meme references. I mean, all the, uh, sorry, I don't want to get too close to this. All of the, uh, someone broke a pick. <gasps> is it Ludus? Oh no. Oh wait, no, Ludus is adding his name. Three diamond. <laughs> oh no. Not like this. Oh dang, I've I've done I've broken two still. When I'm by the water elevator. <laughs> Better watch out, the dong. Zendian hasn't broken any. Oh, this one hurts my soul every time. Oh man. Yeah, 10 years. I flew 100k blocks out to get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, Valo Jewer. Oh man. Anda with the zero zero. Lackle with the zero zero. Zendi with the zero zero. <laughs> I didn't even see this message. <laughs> oh man. What happens when you press the button? Okay, wait. Uh. Ta da! Wait, I don't think you guys got to hear it. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh man. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, really haven't done much mining, mostly just been babysitting the storage. And I appreciate that so much, Zendian. Thank you so much for taking care of it. Uh, speaking of mining, though, how much stone have we mined now? Do you guys have any guesses? Any guesses as to how much stone I have mined personally? Because last time I checked, I think it was above 100k. I'm not sure. At least two. 9,001? Alright, that, that's too much, Jay Chosen. Uh, can I show you the shulker farm? The shulker farm is kind of far, but I can do it next time. 125? Let's see. 207! Oh my god! 207k, guys. Jeez Louise! I didn't expect! Dang! <laughs> oh, smile. <laughs> and 22,000... What is it, diorite? 20,000 andesite, granite 18. Dang, that's a lot. There's just a few blocks, just a little bit. There's just a little bit. Hey, yeah. That's insane. There's a lot. Okay. However, anyways, I think this is a good place for us to wrap up for today. Um, because it's getting late for me, almost four. Yeah, it's four, so we're getting close to that time. I should have ended sooner, but then I was like, I feel weird if I don't, if I end stream at like three. Something about me is like, ew, only stream for four hours? What? But yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to hit the follow button if you'd like to see more progress on this dig, or if you'd like to see any future builds that I work at or whatever, work on. I still have to work on that monument build still, but I've been having so much fun just chilling and digging over here that I've been like, eh, it can wait, or whatever. Uh, also, these are my socials if you guys would like to follow those, Twitter, Instagram, you know, all that good stuff. Um, also, check out my music if you're new here and you didn't know, I do music as well. I make covers of popular music and all that good stuff. Um, follow check, Ao. Um, good- good old times when Looney streams 6 hours till 2 p- oh dude, yeah, I don't know man. Those were long days where I, I would stream until who knows what time. Goodness. Um, yeah, 
And also, patrons, I made a little update post today if you'd like to read that. If you're not a patron, consider checking out the Patreon if you really like the music, because my Patreon helps to support the music and all things that I do with the music. It helps to cover all the costs for the music, because when I post stuff to YouTube, we don't make anything out of it. So, if you like the music, feel free to check it out. Oh, you've been checking since how long you've been following? Since November 23rd, 2016. Not too bad. It's just been a little bit. Uh, Central sent me the screenshot of what she posts on Patreon. Wow. Wow. At least you'll have stone for the monument. Very true. I'll have plenty <laughs> to make as many spheres as I ever wanted. Oh, goodness. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for all the gifted subs today. I appreciate you guys stumbling and, you know finding all those boxes of gifted subs that you just happen to be tripping over like jeez i appreciate it guys <laughs> thank you all so very much um let's see shall we find someone to host can't wait for the day someone says we are out of stone oh man that would be actually insane at least if we ever need any resources we can just come here we can just come here and use whatever it is that we want you know Ooh, ooh, okay, I'm hosting Nesba. Nesba's a really good friend of mine. I love Nesba, one of my fave ladies on Twitch. Um, she is currently playing, I think she's just about to start. Uh, she's playing Little Hope. You guys remember when I played Little Hope for Halloween, like two years ago? Oh man, that was a good time. Uh, Nesba's already been streaming for five and a half hours, so I don't know if she's about to end or if she's... It was hard, but we didn't have sex for the whole month. It was fun. And how about you two? He asked the young couple. I'm not sure what I no, just tuned into. We couldn't do it, response the boyfriend. Oh, wait! Tell me oh why. my so, god! They're reading <laughs> Harry Potter my fanfic. Had a can of corn Bruh. That she accidentally dropped it. Bruh. She bent over to pick it up and. This would be hilarious. This is gonna be a hilarious time to raid her. This is gonna be hilarious. I know. Prepare to. To mute your Christian ears, but she she hit a sub goal, so that's what's happening. I don't know if they pause or what is happening, but we're gonna raid her anyways. But yeah, Nesba's a really good friend of mine. She has been playing. She just started a um. She just started a playthrough of Demon Souls yesterday too. So if you guys, she also recently finished playing through Bloodborne. Um, if you guys are interested in watching Nesba's playthrough of Little Hope, I, I can't tell if they just started or not, or what's happening, but I think they might just be getting into it. But, uh, Little Hope is a bit of a scary game, kind of. It's like a scary story kind of game. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy her stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you all had a wonderful time, and I will hopefully see you on the next stream. If not, that's okay too. But I would love to see you here again next time. Hope you guys have a good day or a good night wherever you're at in the world. Looney promised us Harry Potter fanfic on your channel. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're still doing it. For like five minutes. I swear or not. Know. Seriously. I'm just going to mass close this again. But fine. Okay. who knows? We'll see. No way that game is scarier than Harry Potter fanfic. Oh my god. All right. Take care, guys. Have yourselves a good one. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Sending some spoiling Looney love. Yes. Toodles. Toodles.